Yo, what is up? What's good and what's popping? What is pop a lopping? And welcome back to the Crypto Galaxy. The Crypto Galaxy is lit, man. We're on fire, dude. So many live streams have been happening. And today I really want to talk about my top seven cryptos to buy now in 2023 and become the next crypto millionaire because I believe we're very early in crypto. Uh, we're still in the bear market. 2023, uh, 2023 is a year of FUD. Nobody is really wanting to buy cryptos, but uh, I am buying cryptos and I am planning to get really rich in the next bull run. Uh, I own most of these cryptos I will be going through today and I will explain how much money out of $1,000 would I put into each of the seven picks because not every crypto is uh, created equal. I think some are better, better than others. Obviously, Caspa is my number one uh, pick to be buying. So what's up, people? What's good? What's going on? Uh, before we get into it, let's uh, welcome everybody to the stream. Waldor uh, Sockbat says, thank you for that G. Thank you for the GFAL pick. I loaded up this past week. Yes, sir. Awesome, man. Glad you got the GFAL. Uh, I also have a ton of GFAL. This is going to be talked about in the stream today. It's still a $5 million micro cap that literally no one is talking about. It has 1,000x potential like Gala. It's probably going to go, it could go to a dollar. It could go to $10 in the next bull run if it gets listed on Coinbase. So it's, it's a good two-year hold, solid gaming crypto pick. Great team behind this one. I do recommend the GFAL. Uh, Dermench says, why no Miria anymore? And then Juan says, what happened to Miria? Um, Emmanuel here, he has the answer. Emmanuel says, Miria is a scam. I know, man. It, I was bullish on Miria before, but what happened with Miria is that the price just kept dumping, you know? And you know me. I, my philosophy is to trust the chart. I like bullish charts because they show uh, a sense of security that the, the investment is going to keep appreciating in price over time. So it has to have a good track record of pumping. It has to keep pumping. So Miria, unfortunately, kind of looking like a scam. I can't confirm 100% it is a scam. Uh, it could pump. I could be wrong, but... I feel like 80% sure Miria is turning into a scam. So, unfortunately, um, I don't recommend Miria anymore. All right. Ato, what's going on, man? Welcome. Uh, Arian says, yeah, this stream is on perfect timing. I don't have to skip my sleep now. Otherwise, I have to wake up till 4 a.m. Yes, welcome to the stream. Uh, it's about 1 p.m. in Eastern USA, New York time. And welcome to you, Arian, and anyone else from in Europe overseas. I know this is a great time for y'all because it's like, uh, it's in the evening and you guys are chilling. So, um, yeah, great to have everybody here. Let's get it popping. What's up BL? What's going on? Crypto analyst says, which is the third and fourth picks after pip? I'll explain in the stream. I will get through these. Um, you know, obviously we got, we got pip Caspa G fell. We got image generation AI, and there's a few more layer one cryptos I will be talking about because layer ones are, um, undisputably, the greatest narrative or category in crypto, they always do the biggest pumps every bull run, and they're the most adoptable. They uh, always get the most overhype and the most FOMO and the most, you know, 100x, 500x potential. So the three unknown picks and the logos you saw in the thumbnail are layer one blockchains. They're pretty, pretty, uh, they have a lot of pump potential because they're all still micro caps at, you know, 10, 15, 20 million, and they could go to, you know, 10 billion market caps in the next bull run. Richard, what's up, CG, CG fam? Glad I wasn't late today. Welcome, Richard. What's up, man? <laughs> sell, sell, sell. Hello, well, yeah, everybody, sell your cast ball. <laughs> Emmanuel, what's going on, dude? Van Sen, what's up? G file flying 100x in 2025. I believe it, dude. I think it's going to happen. It's going to go 100x. And um, you could say 100x is FUD because Gala did a 3000x in the last bull run. So if Gala can do 3000x, uh, why can't GFAL do a 1,000x? So it's super cheap right now. STE says, nice weekend, mate. What's up, dude? Have a nice weekend yourself as well. What's pop a and What's pop a and people? Dids, no one better than CG. Thank you, bro, so much for the kind words. I really appreciate it. Man, what's up, Dids? What's going on? Jason says, perfect time for the UK. Yes, sir. This is a good time. Nelson says, what's good, CG? My only concern with Dynex is... Who is behind it? It seems odd that you can't find a name to link to GFAL or like, like GFAL or Casper. I'm still going to mine it and hold while the chart looks good, though. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up. Um, I didn't do much research into the team, but if they're anonymous, it is a red flag. So I'm going to explain how much I would invest into Dynex, and I'll, I'll consider that factor that if it's a anonymous team, it can be a red flag. So, you know, it take the, the pick with a grain of salt. Um, but it does have a bullish chart. It still has pump potential, but you're, you're right. Like, nonetheless, 
these cryptos need to have doxed teams. It's uh, it's pretty much a necessity these days. There's no excuse for it. You can't say, oh, well, Bitcoin was not uh, uh, doxed and Bitcoin devs were anonymous. It's like, dude, Bitcoin is a separate case. All right. That's the godfather of crypto. It's uh, you can't use that reason to say why you're not doxed. Clinton says, smash the like button for a galaxy. You degenerate aliens. Thank you, Clinton, so much, dude. Yes, everyone, please go ahead and smash up the like button. Thank you. Hit the like. Whippet says it's 2.30 a.m. here in Australia. Wow, dude, that's like super late in Australia. Um, welcome. Welcome from Australia. Mike says, GFAL 5% circulating. Can't get behind it. That's fine, dude. I totally respect it. I understand GFAL has terrible tokenomics. I know. But if you look at other cryptos like Solana, Gala, um, Polkadot, Avalanche, you know, um, even Polygon, a lot of these cryptos that did a 300x last bull run, they also had really bad tokenomics with small circulating supplies in their early days. So it doesn't mean it cannot pump. But if that's your reason for not getting behind it, it's cool, man. I, I respect that. It's all right. What's up, Mel G? Four cents. Uh, Mark says, Will Casper retrace under two cents? Glad I swapped out of Ilv. H bar gala render LCX and some other coins into Caspo. Wish I did more. Yeah, man. You glad you got rid of all the scams. Those are some really awful picks. They're all they all went through bull runs. Um, I think render is okay. Like I know render already had a bull run, but at least render is still kind of pumping. It has an okay chart. Uh, but yeah, the other picks you mentioned, Illuvium, Gala, uh, H bar, LCX, they're really scammy and they already had a bull run they did pump and dumps <laughs> glad you sold those bro because gas was way better than all those man great devilry says curious to see dynex in the thumbnail check the chart and it's bullish pretty nice uh chart sir yes sir it's a good chart i'm i'm, I'm pretty uh interested in dynex stalker yocg great time to stream it's 7 p.m in germany awesome man this is perfect timing that's great dude eight hello cg and good for the live time in europe yes sir this is a great time and welcome from africa mel g Mohammed says, thanks for the great content first, but in my opinion, GFAL has more potential than KSP has too much competitors, but this gem is unique. I guess that's one way to look at it. I mean, sure. Uh, wait, KSP? Or are you talking about Caspa? Because Caspa doesn't have any competitors. It's a block DAG, so it's the first block DAG. Um, now, you could say there's layer one competitors, but in my opinion, as the world's first block DAG, Caspa has no competition. Uh but you're correct. GFAL has minimal, if any, competition. The only other gaming cryptos out there, you know, there's Lit Labs, Nakamoto Games, Miria, Gala, but they all have really bad charts that dumped a lot. And then if you look at the picks in the top of the ranks, like Axie, um, the Central Land Mana Engine, they all did pump and dumps in the last bull run. So uh, it is true. GFAL has minimal, if any, competition. So it's in the best position to become the next pump, next bull run. Project can't be a, a scam because it's dumping, might be token unlock market and investors even upgrade unless you have more fact to say it's 80% scam. I understand it's not a complete confirmed scam, but you know, a chart does explain how much the people believe in it, right? Like if the tokens are unlocking, why are the pre-sale investors and the devs and the team selling if they don't believe in their own project? You know, if they believed in their own project, they would not be selling so much. So if you look at bullish charts, it means that the um the pre-allocated tokens, whoever got those tokens, they're not selling. They're holding and being diamond hands because they actually believe in their own project. And so I only want to join crypto projects that um, are not being sold by the people who founded those. So that's just my opinion. What's up, Farouk? Mito Games says, nice shirt, John. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. This is a, a nice little reminder of my vacation from Belize. Good memories with the shirt. Neil says, greetings from the Netherlands. Love your show, man. Ever, ch ever check uh, Luxo and their founder? I know it's uh, not a brand new crypto, but the founder makes it interesting. Yeah, I know Luxo. He used to work for Ethereum, um, but it's kind of an old crypto, like you said. And I'm looking for new cryptos with pump potential. And all the seven cryptos in today's list are all brand new because the brand new cryptos do the most pump. So Luxo, Luxo is fine. It's not bad, but it's, uh, it is old. That's, that's why I won't invest in it. WSM, don't know which one that is. Waldor says, I signed up for VIP level. How do I get on the Discord? Oh, so did you get an email? There is an email when you sign up for Patreon. Did you, did you get the email? Scroll down your email and then click on the Discord button, and that's going to take you to Discord. Um, and it's going to take like five minutes to load. I know it's not instant, so click on the Discord button. Connect your Discord when you after you click the button from your Patreon email. Um, 
it's going to take five or 10 minutes to load. So don't freak out like, oh my God, it's not, it, it takes a few minutes. So, um, and then after that, go to your Patreon menu button, go to the settings and go to your, you know, the, the creators that you're signed up to. And then you're going to see, uh, uh, there's a, there's a button that says, you know, like, uh, connected discord accounts and make sure that, that, um, actually does say connected. Let me check real quick. Let's see. Do you, right here. I think it's settings. Team apps. Yeah. Okay. Here it is. So settings, discord. Yeah. So in your Patreon app or your Patreon, after you log into Patreon, go to the settings, go to connected apps and look for the discord. And then you'll see my discord pop up there. If you have any more trouble, I'll just shoot you a message on Patreon. We'll, we'll, we'll get it sorted out. Dear Dr. Tony says, can cast a hundred X from here. Yeah. I understand in the thumbnail, I put 25 X. I messed up. I meant to put 250 X. <laughs> so Caspa is going to do a lot more than a uh, hundred X or 25 X. The galaxy stream Caspa pump. No, 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 no. You don't need to buy Caspa. Caspa ain't going to pump dude. It's a scam. It's totally a scam. <laughs> uh, I see G fell the best for the next bull run. Cause it has a successful team. Yes. A successful proven team that actually knows what they're doing. And, um, they have great track records. They have too much at, at stake. They're not going to try to throw away their credibility, you know. So I really trust the team. I think they're going to pump it to the moon. They're going to take GFL up a thousand X, and they're actually currently in the process of Web three mass global gaming adoption, bringing on uh, Web two gaming players, which is great because we've never really had a great Web three gaming project until now with GFL, because GFL is targeting Web two gamers, and it's not targeting the uh, greedy crypto investors, which is a really good sign for GFAL. What about BlackRock buying stuff? Uh, I don't really care. I don't follow that stuff that much. It doesn't make much difference to me, honestly. I don't really care. Andrew says, made my Saturday jumping online and see you live. Gasp, but let's go, dude. Thank you so much, man. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Vulcan Forge, do not recommend. It has a scammy pump and dump looking chart. Atoll says, I like your reaction to some shit charts. I have a new gem to check, and I would like to hear your opinion. Reaction will tell everything. Project name is XNA. I'll bring it up later. Well, I, I got to get through the uh, my seven picks first, but remind me later. I'll check it later. Uh, Pendle. I don't know what Pendle is, but bring it up later. I'll check later. How much price impact does Binance listing have over Coinbase? Which one could be better? Uh, Coinbase is always better. The Coinbase listing pumps cryptos more than Binance. Now, Binance will pump cryptos, sure. Uh, but number one is Coinbase. Number two is Binance. But here's where it gets interesting because you don't know if um, after your crypto gets listed on Binance, there's no guarantee it's going to get the Coinbase listing. So the dilemma is, do you sell on the Binance listing? Because you don't really know if it's going to get on Coinbase. So it's hard to say, man. It's it's a really tricky thing, right? You don't. No one really knows. Daniel Jang, I do not recommend BNB Tiger, BNB Lion, or Baby BNB Tiger. <laughs> Those are some of the worst picks that I've ever heard of. <laughs> homeless with those picks i'm sorry bro uh don't put 50 250x for cast give a more realistic number like 5x so i can buy uh man i think 5x is fud for cast but do i really do that sierra says i was an early investor to dynex but sold after research it is run by a convicted scammer named daniel mattis uh he has a lavish lifestyle from stealing other people's money <laughs> well okay thank you for that information um i'll have to make a quick uh change change up in the in the stream we'll, we'll we'll change the dynex pick thank you sierra for that information uh i apologize everyone dynex might not be an official call so let me uh let me let that sink in because i believe you uh and, and and it's pretty normal right most of these cryptos have convicted scammers running them you know being anonymous is a huge red flag so uh, we'll see what's going to replace Dynex in the stream today. There's some other decent picks. Uh, what realistically do you see GFAL next bull run? Uh, 1400. Um, do backflip off my desk. Uh, I think GFAL could hit a dollar, maybe five dollars because Gala hit 75 cents. So I think it can hit like a dollar. How long does Tandem take to get? Uh, haven't got anything. So the Don, it takes some, it takes some time. They're really backed up with orders because ever since the, um, the news came out that Ledger and Trezor sucks, uh, Tandem has just skyrocketed in sales overnight. They were not expecting this amount of volume and people are starting to realize that Tandem is one of the best options on the market, the most secure, 
the fastest ones, the easiest to use. But the downside is that they're backed up. And so they're shipping directly from Hong Kong. Um, so there is going to be delays. It's just the way it is with a uh, hardware wallet that's selling out quick. So it will take time. You got to contact their support, but just know that it is there are going to be delayed. You're not the only one. Other people have been saying that Tangem is very delayed with the confirmations and the shipping times. Uh, best next bull run coins haven't been released yet. That's true, man. Some some haven't come out yet. We don't know what those are. Dow, hello everyone. What's up, dude? Have you had a look into BitTensor? Tau, um, decentralized chat GPT. Yeah, it's a decent pick. I'll I'll keep an eye on it. Um, do you know who the team is behind it? I would like to know that. Uh, I I think the chart is just iffy. Like it's not bad, but it's also not pumping. So it's it's okay. It's a decent pick. Casper to the moon. Let's go. Have you heard about Fendora? I have not heard of that. Yo, what's up, Justin? Can you stop shilling Caspa and do a FUD video so I can bag more? <laughs> Quant H bar. Quant's pretty good, but H bar is a scam, dude. It's a pump and dump. Area. I don't know what that one is. I can't remember. What is area? Bring it up later. I'll check it. My tangent took almost a month to come. Yo, that's pretty uh, that's crazy, man. It takes a while. Crypto and tech, what's up, man? Got a good laugh from your Casper video. Where is your accent from? So my accent is a mix of a lot of stuff. It's uh, East Coast, Southern, and Midwest. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's a USA accent. I don't know. It's a combination of a lot of shit. So who, who, your guess is as good as mine. What is my accent? Uh, opinion on Quant and HBAR. Uh, Quant's pretty good. HBAR is a scam. Any news of one key Casper limited version? It is sold out, and I think they're done. I don't think they're coming back in stock. So we'll see. All right, y'all ready for this? Let's bring up the crypto picks. Here we go. All right, so number one, I'm picking is Caspa. Uh, out of $1,000, I would put 700 into Caspa because it's a layer one. It's the world's greatest block deck, the first block deck, and it has so much potential. Um, G Fowl number coming in at number two. Uh, G Fowl and Pip, I have these tied at number two, 100 bucks each. G Fowl probably going to have more overhype and FOMO because it's gaming. But man, Pip has also got world mass adoption possibly set up because Pip has half a million users already on their, you know, Cash App Venmo app, which is basically the crypto version of Cash App and Venmo. So Pip is making serious moves. So I think Pip's great as well. Um, and obviously Pip and G Fowl both have really bullish charts. They're micro caps. They're new cryptos. They're three months old and they have uh, they're going to go into their first bull run, which means that they're going to do, you know, possibly 100x, 500x, or even 1,000x because um, their first bull run does the most pumps. And so most of the tokens in these supplies are locked up. So I understand PIP only has 10% circulating, GFAL is 5% circulating, but you got to understand most of the tokens are locked up. And so the people receiving the unlocked tokens later are planning to dump it in the next bull run. So you can buy early into these now, and then we can dump with the, the VCs later. That's how the um, the pump and dumps work. So, you know, I understand that GFL and PIP are pump and dumps, but they're still going to pump <laughs> nonetheless. So uh, these can actually do at least 100x, so much potential. Um, they're both, they could both, these could both get listed on Binance any day. I mean, PIP has the connections to Binance. It's already invested in by the chief uh, strategy officer, uh, the chief business officer, and also a Binance invested in by Binance US. Um, uh, it's also invested in by Coinbase. So PIP, dude, Coinbase is invested in this. Can you believe that? I can't believe it. So I do recommend PIP. Uh, GFAL also has a great team with the EA sports founder, um, Netflix art director, and Activision Blizzard vice president. So great micro caps here. I uh, should probably put here, like, what is the market cap? Let's see. Caspa, I think it's like 400 mil. I don't know if that's, like, completely correct. 5M for GFAL and PIPs at about 15 million. So, uh, you know, the safest pick, Caspa, and then riskier ones, GFAL and PIP. So, uh, Image9. This is a, a good way to cover your bases with the AI. At least that's the way I see it. I do have some Image9 a little bit. I recommend just, like, $25. You don't have to go all in this one. It's, like, super risky, but it still has thousand x potential um market cap still pretty low i think it's 10 million or uh maybe 15 million it's got a good chart man it's uh it's about six seven months old pretty well established it's on uh decent mid-size exchanges and it has a working product because we know that chat gpt is uh causing a lot of you know fomo and hype in the in the ai sector and crypto and so with image generation 
I know that there is some real world use cases for these image art generators. And if they do that in crypto, it could have an okay fundamental. I think it looks decent, dude. This uh, image generation could do uh, a thousand X uh, in the next bull run or probably like a hundred X. Uh, Dynex, I may have to delete this just because someone said that the team is a scammer. So if the team is a scammer, I'll, I'm gonna skip Dynex for now. Let me just let me just think about this. Hold on, can I just is it weird to do a strike through? Uh, where is it? Oh, here we go. All right, Dynex, be careful. I'm gonna <laughs> gonna do the strike through. It could be a scam. Uh, Tenant, someone brought this up recently. Looking pretty bull. I mean, it's got a doxed team. It has like it's being run by a guy from the Scottish government. It's like they don't have any idea about crypto, but they could still pump it nonetheless because they have their uh, reputation on the line. This is a micro cap. It could do a thousand X layer ones and blockchains are the most pumpable. You know, it's a good uh, fundamental. Not that we really need it. You know, the only the only layer ones we actually need is, um, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, maybe Polygon and definitely definitely Caspa. But all the other ones are crap. So. Uh, yeah, Tenant has potential. And Arion Network also has a bullish chart. It's another layer one blockchain with pumping potential. So these are my seven picks, really micro caps. Let's see, what's the Tenant market cap? Let me, let me get up the Tenant here. Tenant MC is 14 million. Pretty low. Wow, man. Dude, layer one size, the, the, the layer one's pump potential can go to a like a 50 billion market cap next bull run because... Last bull run, there's so many layer ones that pumped, you know, 100x, 500x. Um, even Ethereum as the biggest, second biggest crypto, it's a layer one. And that's why Ethereum did, you know, it pumped from $80 to 4000 How much uh, per returns is that? 50x returns on the second biggest crypto, last bull run. So, you know, there's so much potential. BNB also did like 100x. Uh, Cardano also did a 200x, I think. Um, but Tron sucks, didn't pump much. Solana, uh, Solana is a scam now, but it was pumping a lot last bull run. Did 300x. Polygon did 300x. Polkadot did like only a 50x. Um, there's so many layer ones up here. So I'm saying if you just get like 25 bucks of each of the layer ones, um, and then if, if you hit the 300x on at least one of them, and uh, oops, I had the wrong number. 300x times 25. You can make 7,500 bucks on at least one of them. So with 7,500 bucks of potential profit, you know, you can buy, let's see, with 25 bucks, you can buy a hundred different layer one blockchains. And if 99% of them are scams and one of them actually is legit, you make more than your money back. So if you were to make 7,500 on one investment of $25 that'll cover your losses for all the other 99 picks. So layer ones, what I'm trying to say is that they have the most pumping potential. So that's why I like looking at uh, layer ones. And also they're difficult to buy and most people are lazy. Like nobody wants to sign up for TX bit to buy this crap. You know what I mean? Um, this is also why cash plus pumping a lot. Cause everyone says, Oh bro, what's the contract address? Can I get this on Uniswap? It's like, <laughs> dude, cash is not a Ethereum token. So this is why Caspa pumps a lot more because it's uh it's difficult to buy. So for the few people who are not lazy and have some motivation, um, you can get in super early with the layer ones because they're they're difficult to buy. What's up with Pip? Pip looking good, dude. Pip recently got listed on KuCoin. Um, I'm just waiting for the Binance Build the Block TV show to actually tell us what's going on. So it's an ongoing TV show and it's been pretty late to update, but. Yeah, Pip just got on KuCoin. It's all it's on a lot of it's on all this the the tier two exchanges. So Pip is not on any US regulated exchanges yet, but it's already on all the biggest, you know, global unregulated exchanges like the Asian ones and some of the European ones. So Pip looking good, bullish chart. I think it's pretty bottomed out. I would not see this dipping under 16 cents. I would be surprised really if Pip comes on un comes under 16 cents or 15 cents. So Pip, I think right now is at the bottom. It's a good dip. I would definitely get some now. It's 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 dirt cheap, dude. This is dirt cheap. Um, I think it just dumped recently because uh the the uh, securities fud. Like I get it, it's a security, but so is all the rest of crypto. So all the cryptos dumped, uh, ten percent. You know the securities one. So, uh, yeah, Pip on a good dip right now, looking really good. So that is what's up with the Pip. Tangent to Angola will take two months. Yo, man, that's crazy. 
HBAR is a scam, but they're affiliate with big names. <laughs> but they're affiliated with big names. <laughs> but the partnerships, bro. But the ISO and the world domination. Bro, I'm just saying, man. Here's why HBAR is a scam. HBAR has a pump and dump chart because the team behind HBAR became overnight millionaires. They pumped it up and then they dumped it all back to shit. So um, it's probably not going to pump again, right? I've seen this happen hundreds of times with cryptos and everyone says, oh, but the big names. It's like, dude, it's not going to pump again. It's a dead scam. I don't recommend HBAR. Um, and I'll show you why. So tokenomics of HBAR, I'll show you why it's a scam. So let's see. Where's the tokenomics and the pre-distribution? Um, yikes, dude, this is really bad. Hedera allocation, 13% to the founders, 8% to Swirl, 24% to development, 17% to purchase agreements, 4% to the employees, and 32% to the pre-minted treasury. I don't even know how much percent went to the public listings, but uh, I think it's about 80%. That was pre-allocated to the teams. Um, geez, dude, how much actually went to the public listing? It doesn't even say. Dude, I'm just saying, man, this, these are the worst tokenomics of any crypto I've ever seen. And this is why it's a scam. Because when 13% is sent to the founders, they're all going to sell for profits. 4% to the employees, they're also going to sell for profits. The pre-minted treasury is also going to sell for profits. The development funds are going to sell for profits and the purchase agreements are going to sell for profits. So it's an unre un unregistered security scam. Uh, it's a bad pre-allocation of tokens because all it takes is one, is one of these pre-allocators to dump their whole bags. And that causes the pump and dump because those people are just in it for money. So um, small retail investors like you, Kano, you don't have a chance in HBAR because your percentage of the supply is minimal. The only people who actually make money is that you have to be in on, you have to be part of the insiders and part of the launch. You got to get in on the pre-sale. You got to be in on the team. You got to be one of the founders in order to make money on HBAR. But if you're just a retail investor who goes to buy HBAR on Coinbase, you're pretty late. And um, you're basically the exit liquidity for the pre-allocated tokens. So that is why HBAR is a scam. And that is why uh, being affiliated with big names is completely irrelevant. Injective is a scam. Pandora privacy token, fully doxed team. Ooh, fully doxed team. Let's see, Pandora. Let's see, what is this? Yo, fully doxed team, but the scam pump and dump rug chart looks just freaking terrible, dude. Well, the doxed team uh, made a lot of money, so congrats to them. Do not recommend buying this scam. Phil says, being a newbie, why does Coinbase listing correlate with pumps? It's just a mass of users finding out and trying to jump in quickly like FOMO. Yes, Coinbase has a lot of stupid American retail investors who have a lot of money and don't know what they're doing. So they buy everything that gets listed on Coinbase and they probably only use Coinbase because, um, you know, getting in on Coinbase means that you're really late to the Ponzi scheme. So, yeah, Coinbase has the most money of any exchange and it's going to pump stuff the most because uh, the Coinbase, Coinbase normie investors are pretty stupid uh pendle let's see where's pendle yo man looking crappy this looks really bad i'm sorry don't recommend yo what's up zen ray thank you for your quick response in discord good people and much knowledge on the platform thanks bro appreciate it thank you so much for supporting my channel on the vip tier in patreon zen ray anything else you got you can shoot me a dm or ask in the general chat i will try to answer thank you so much dude for the kind words yes sir you know, says, hi, Crypto Galaxy. I've been watching your live stream all week. Amazing job. What do you think on Dion Protocol? Oh, man, I forgot about Dion. Okay, good pick, Lionel. Thank you very much. I will add Dion to the list of potential cryptos, and I'll say that this is an okay pick. So Dion is um, inherently a scam, right? It's got a scammy team. It has a crappy fundamental, but it has a bullish chart, and it could still do a thousand next next bull run because the safe moon team running this shit if they could pump safe moon 10,000 x they can easily pump dion thousand x because they know the marketing and they know how to scam people so if they know how to scam people it means you can still buy in early to the scam and you can dump on everyone else 
with the Dion team in the next bull run. So I think Dion is getting ready for the next bull run. I think they're going to keep it around for a while. Pretty early looking. It's a good chart and still a pretty low market cap, 32 million. So, um, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, it's not a layer one. It's just a useless token, but um, it can pump a lot. You know, I, de I definitely grab a small bag because uh, if you if you hit a thousand X on Dion, I understand it's really scammy, but if you still hit a thousand X with twenty five bucks, you could make twenty five grand next bull run, and twenty five bucks is nothing. So, I recommend grabbing a tiny bag of Dion. It's high risk, but also really high reward at the same time. Daniel says Sonic Inu is great too. No, it's not. It's pump, it's dumping a lot. Don't recommend it. There's no value in NFTs. Uh, if if GFL went to Binance first, one factor for the BNB token, Web3 is a key word. Uh, one factor. What? How do you find your picks? Are you just checking out coin market cap and filtering? So Phil, I, I find most of these picks from you and everyone else who shows me cryptos on the stream. I'll look them all up. I'll check it on coin market cap and I'll check the chart. Um, before I became a YouTuber, I would just scroll through Coin Market Cap and I would um, look at the charts of every crypto manually. But um, now I just look at cryptos that people bring up in the stream. Caspa, 66 percent. Uh, yeah, more cryptos coming into circulation. It's like Bitcoin, dude. Bitcoin had 60 percent and then it went up to 70 percent, then 80 percent. The miners are going to continue mining. So, yeah, the circulating supply goes up, but it's because of mining and not because of any you know, sketchy pre-allocated token unlocks. So yeah, the, the, the supply will go up in circulation, but it's a good thing. Your accident, your accident is a combination of a lot of scams. <laughs> Team is docs for Tao. Devs are brilliant engineers. Oh, cool, man. Really? Google engineers? Let's see. Tao, Bensensor. Um, yeah, it looks all right. It's... um. It's dumping currently, so I would wait another month. I want to see the the price kind of catch a floor because technically speaking, this could dump forever, but I'm not saying it will. It could pump. It could easily pump. I, I'm 50-50. I'm it could pump off 1,000x or it could dump to zero. So it has potential. It's, it still looks decent. It's on Mexi. Um, I wish they would get some more exchanges. It's kind of odd. They only have Mexi. They need more exchanges, so... It has potential Nighthawk. I'll keep an eye on it. I won't call it for an official pick, but I'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, GFL is pumping, man. GFL is what's up. I was watching Crypto Banter. He said he likes Caspa, but it's not Bitcoin 2.0. And then stopped from mentioning it again. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, you guys got to stop shilling Caspa to Crypto Banter. He doesn't need to know how good it is. Tau is the largest decentralized neural network in the world. Interesting. Jiggy says, hey, CG, trying to load up on GFAL. Yeah, man, GFAL looking great, dude. This is um one of the best banks for your buck. Like, at least get $100. Yo, man, holy crap. I think my um my stream yesterday pumped it up. <laughs> Whoops. I guess my channel is big enough that I can pump a 5 mil market cap. It's at 6 mil. But um, it's a good pick nonetheless. I don't know why you would buy it after I said it was good. Like you, I've been talking about GFAL since um two months ago actually i'm still holding it i've never bought i, I first bought gfal at 005 and i'm just holding it so these up and downs i don't really care but yeah it, it's pumping man it's a good pick it's got a lot of upside it could do a thousand x and run up to uh a dollar or even ten dollars next bull run you know gala did it last bull run gala made a three thousand x made millionaires off of just a few hundred bucks so get at least a hundred bucks of gfal and Store it on your Tangem hardware wallet, your cold storage, so that you never sell it. And then uh, you can open it up in two years, and then you can see, oh, did GFAL do 1,000x or did it go to zero? So um, I think that the, uh, the the benefit, the the gains you could make, it outweighs the risk. Because the risk, putting in 100 bucks is such low risk. But um, the amount of upside is crazy for 100 bucks, Man, gaming cryptos have um, the same overhype potential like meme coins, but they're actually more legit because they have real teams behind it and less competition. Meme coins get spun up every day. There's thousands and thousands of meme coins, but there's only really few gaming cryptos. So it's easier to pick the good gaming coins because you actually know who the teams are behind them and you know that they have potential for world mass adoption. So yeah, GFAL is still looking like a, a cheap crypto. It's still a 6 million market cap. 
I'm holding a pretty big bag of this one. Uh, it's probably my favorite pick behind Caspa or Pip. One of these two. They're both pretty good. Is it possible for a scam to unscam itself? No, nah, not really. I don't think. I got I brought Tenet and Lit to your attention. And I have a good scam. Degen projects called Fabwell and RPG. Mark my words. Yeah, thanks for bringing up Tenet. I know you and um, I think IE Crypto and some others have bought up uh, Tenet. Lit, I don't think is looking lit. I think it's dumping. Um, but Fabwell. Yo, Fabwell looking like a scam. That's a pump and dump rug and revolved games is looking like. Let's see. I'm going to click the all time chart and we'll see how it looks. And oh my God, holy moly, mother of all scam rug charts. This is. What do you mean, mark your words, bro? Mark your words that it's a scam? These are huge scams and you're correct. I will mark your words that these are scams. So yeah, Tenet might be okay though. Like I think Tenet has some pumping potential. And it, uh, it's a it's a decent chart. I know it's going down a little bit, but not a lot. It's not in the red. So from all time highs of 25 cents down to 0.13, it's only down 50%. That's pretty good. If the crypto went down over 90%, it's a red flag. But if it's down less than 80%, it still has pumping potential. So tenant, it's a layer one blockchain, pretty small micro cap, 14 million. And layer ones have potential to pump to like 50 billion market cap. So Yo, what up, Dog and Dave? What's up, man? What price could Pip go to? I think Pip could go to like a uh, hundred dollars, maybe. Um, because Pip can probably hit a, a five bill market cap. Current price is pretty cheap right now. Man, it's only 18 cents. <clears throat> uh, if it does a hundred X, it's gonna go to ten dollars. Yeah, I think ten to fifty dollars for Pip next bull run. I can see it. What if we have a thousand to spend and we want to make money this time so we can spend more? So with a thousand to spend, this is the allocations I'm recommending. Not financial advice, of course, but uh, 700 bucks to Caspa, 100 to GFAL, 100 to PIP, 25 to Image Night, Dion Tena, and Arion Network. Trying to find the next Pepe or Shiba. Dude, good luck. You're never going to find it because the meme coins are always created by anonymous teams and... Um, you don't know the tokenomics. You don't know who bought the first dibs on the tokens. You don't know the, it's impossible, dude. You, it'll never happen. Good luck. I've tried for years. It's, it's just impossible, man. Nighthawk says my bags would be BDC, Cash, GFAL, and Tau. Pretty good picks, man. I think you're set, dude. <clears throat> How much Caspa to be a half millionaire? Ada says, uh, I'd say like at least a hundred thousand Caspa coins. Regarding Dynex, Google Daniel Matthias, Mattis, uh, Jubio, SEC conviction, and his wife, they have a history of pump and dumping and screwing over investors. Man, those are scammers. All right. Dynex is definitely staying off the list. Thank you for the confirmed information and for saving us some money. Um, but even though they're scammers, you could still make money on the pumps, right? Because they want new scams to pump again to rip people off. Um, like Dion, for example, it has a scammer team. It's definitely a scam. Uh, and Tenet and Arion maybe as well. LimeWire? I don't know, man. If this is a scam, I'm going to be like, what the hell? Holy crap, man. This thing is completely rugged. <sighs> Why y'all showing me scams out here? Come on, man. Truth storybook? Come on, bro. Give me some better cryptos. Engine is a pump and dump scam. And I think the race... Uh, how's the raise? Is that, is that also dumped? Yeah, dude. Holy crap. It's another scam, bro. Come on, man. Oh, dude, these are pump and dumps, man. They're dead. They're scams. You got to look at the chart, the all time chart, bro. It'll, it'll show you what's happening. CG is definitely part of the SEC. <laughs> Dynex trying to act like they're copying Flux, letting people render and use their compute power, trying to scam off their technology. I believe it, dude. Of course, it's the easiest way to scam people is just to copy other people's technology. I'm a GFAL shark. I think it, the crypto will make 
millionaires just like Gala. Yeah, Wador, it has the potential, dude. It has all the means necessary. Um, I think it could do it. I have a lot of GFL. I have hopes for this one. It's looking good, but we got to keep it a secret, all right? We can't tell too many people how good this is. So let's keep it on the down low, all right? Case in crypto. What about render thoughts? Yeah, renders re renders okay, right? Like it's a um, I think it's a proof of work. It's got a bullish ish chart. It's not the best chart. It's also not the worst. The only reason I don't recommend it is because it went through a bull run already, and the most pumps are made on new cryptos. I don't know how many times I have to say it. It needs to be new. If it's not a new crypto, I'm just gonna get Bitcoin, you know, or Ethereum, or maybe BNB, but. I ain't going to buy any other altcoins that are already went through a bull run because the bull run and all the FOMO um, creates the most pumps. The most money I made last bull runs, uh, last bull run on the altcoins was like um, the cryptos that went through their first bull run, like Theta. For example, I threw in a thousand bucks at 10 cents. And then in the bull run, it pumped a hundred X and my thousand dollars turned into a hundred grand. So but now Theta, is a, it's, it's done, dude. It's a pump and dump. Everyone made the money and everyone has moved on to the next pump and dump. So it's just money keeps shuffling over to new cryptos every bull run. You got to you gotta pick the new cryptos. So they're going to have more pump potential. Sure, Render can go up, but why pick Render for you know a 10x or 20x when you can pick the 100 and 500x potential cryptos? Because the new ones with less selling pressure are always going to outperform the older older cryptos. Atta says 20k G foul, 3k pip, 330k cast, but good. Yeah, that's pretty good, dude. I think those are great bags, man. Uh, Volt, it's whatever. It's a meme coin, you know. It's fine. I would, I would just throw in a little bit of money, just a little bit. Uh, Tau is a pal, no pre-sale, no team allocation, and fair launch. Really? Fair launch with no pre-allocation? Are you serious? Uh, Ben Tensor Internet. Scale machine learning. The website doesn't do anything. Oh, here's the information. Essentialize. How much is circulating? What's the circulation? Uh, 19%. Proof of work, no pre-sale, no allocation, fair launch. How is it fair launched if the price is going down? That doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? Um, launched on BitGet and Mexi. Oh, okay, so it was fair launched, but people were mining it, right? So it did not get listed on the exchanges until after it was launched. When was it launched? Do you know? Let's see. Well, Mexi was the third, but when was the Tensor? Oh, fair launched in 2021. The supply is 21 million. Wow, 2021. Damn. How did it take them so long to list on an exchange? No pre mine. Um, okay. Market cap. Two. Damn, market cap 220 million? Or is that incorrect? Uh, what's the actual market cap? I don't know. I don't think it's 220 million. But it's a decent pick, Nighthawk. Uh, I'll, I'll keep an eye on this. This ha this actually has some potential. Uh, why do cryptos let everyone know where the pre-allocation has gone? Is it the law? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's good to be transparent, Dave, like to tell people, hey, here's where the cryptos went. It's just for, it's for transparency and honesty. Vela, um, I think it's a scam, but I can't remember. Is it this one? Oh, no, it's not a scam. I'm sorry. It, it looks okay. Uh, exchanges have a lot of upside potential. Miria, don't recommend. Sweat Economy, also do not recommend. Engine, also a pump and dump. Don't recommend. Finally got my tangent after a couple of weeks. After waiting, I was sweating, thinking at any point the exchange could do, go down and can breathe like normal. Now, man, that's awesome, dude. Yeah. Tandem is the safest way to store your crypto, put it on cold storage, take it offline, and just not worry about your cryptos getting lost on exchanges. Man, a lot of new people coming into crypto really think that exchanges are trustworthy, but they're not. I've lost thousands of dollars on exchanges like Celsius that just went down. 
Um, FTX also went down and, you know, uh, Hopit went down and uh, Expatron went down. There's so many exchanges that just keep going down. And even if the exchange doesn't go down, they can still block your account and freeze your account for uh, any reason they please. They could say you're doing suspicious activity. And then um, you say, well, I wasn't. And they say, oh, sorry, goodbye. So, um, yeah, if you don't want to lose all your money, definitely get a, a Tangem hardware wallet. It's so cheap. It's uh, 55 bucks. You can use my promo code, which is, I put up right here on the screen. It's Galaxy, and you can get 10% off. It's uh, the best way to store your crypto offline safely. Uh, yeah, renders whatever, man. It's just kind of old. Right? It already went through a bull run. It's not bad, but it's really old. Jakey says, I only watch your channel now. Awesome, man. Welcome to the galaxy. That's great, dude. Welcome to the, the channel. Thanks for watching me. Cast going up every time you're running, running a live. I know, dude. I got to, uh, maybe I should stop making so many bullish live streams because I just keep pumping up the good picks. Alex says, you're my idol. I'm sure you and all people following you going to make a lot of money in the future. I believe it. And I got a question. When the last time we can buy a Caspa this year? Okay, Alex, thank you so much for what you said. And I believe the last time we can buy Caspa is probably um, July or August. I think we have eight to 10 weeks left. We're, we're actually running out of time. Like this summer is going to be the last time anybody can ever buy a Caspa under four cents. Because once this pumps again, it's going to break past four cents. It's going to pump to a quarter of a dollar, 20 cents, 25 cents. And then we're never going to come under five cents again. So get Casper now, get it. It's this, this summer is the last chance that we have. It's, it's really cheap. Yeah. Noted says just DCA. Yeah. Just buy a Casper every week. Just keep dollar cost averaging. Don't worry too much about the, the price fluctuations. Just get some now, get some next week. This summer is literally the last chance that we have to get Casper. Michael says, thanks for the promo code. Just spot Tangem. Awesome, man. Thank you for using my code. Yeah, recommend Tangem. It's a great hardware wallet. Uh, thoughts on change finance? It's okay. It's not the best, not the worst. Um, I'm not like, oh my God, super bullish, but it's not a scam. It's pretty trustworthy. It's pretty legit, but there's just not much pump on, pumping potential in the change token. So I don't really recommend it, but if you have it, it's fine. I don't, I'm not saying you got to sell it. It's It's, it's, it's okay. Oh, Velodrome. Okay, let's see. What's Velodrome? All right, let's see. I'm going to pull up a chart, and we're going to see how it is. Yo, man, looking bullish. Holy crap. 12 million market cap. Um, And it's on exchanges? Yo, man, looking good. I'm going to save this to my list. Wow, Night Tech, thank you so much, dude. How'd you find this? This is looking good. Um... And it's possibly a good entry now. I mean, it could dump more, but it looks like it caught the previous all-time high of seven cents as the new floor. That is a really good sign. So this has some actual potential. So yeah, wow, nice pick, man. Uh, what does this do? Trading and liquidity on optimism. That's decent, dude. Optimism has a lot of potential because it's uh, Ethereum layer two. I'm bullish on optimism. So um, it has potential. I think it's decent. Maybe optimism would be better. Like, I think optimism is pretty good too. Let's see. Oh, man, optimism. Yeah, optimism, I know it's dumping, but it's still on a, a up, uptrend trajectory because the, the lows are catching higher lows. So optimism's okay um velodrome looking pretty great night tech that's that's nice dude because uh the chart's good and it's got um it's on a ethereum layer two and i'm i'm bullish on ethereum layer twos because uh ethereum is the the most adopted blockchain in the world and polygon did a 300x last bull run so i think optimism has potential uh this one looks good too yo pc what's up man to become ready to load up Load up on Caspa. What about Plebe? Do you think it will recover? Uh, I'm sorry, dude. I think Plebe became a scam. It's it's dead. But uh, yeah, Caspa's great, man. Load up on Caspa. Uh, Vela Exchange. Yeah, Vela Exchange was looking okay. Uh, Clintex. I think it was a scam. Let me see. Clintex. Dude, this is a scam. This is a terrible chart, dude. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm not going to recommend this one, Mark. Don't really recommend uh, Tommy, let's see, what is Tommy? Aminet or Tommy? You got to tell me which one. There's two of them. 
Actually, yeah, man, y'all got so many picks. I swear, if y'all keep showing scams, I might not look anymore. Uh, there's two XENs. You got to specify the name and the ticker symbol so I can make sure I get the right one. TG actually just a CGI made by Cast, but devs, everything is a scam. Oh, man, you uncovered the secret. You, you caught me. I am a CGI made by the Casper devs. I'm actually a robot. <laughs> LimeWire, I think I looked at it already. It looks like a scam. Or was it a scam? I can't remember. LimeWire is... Yeah, dude, this thing is rugged, man. This is a... This is basically rugged. Dude, this is a scam. I'm sorry. Why would you buy this, man? It looks like it, it's, a, it's a dump, dude. Man, y'all got so many picks, dude. Cytos... Ugh, so many scams out here, man. But there's been a few gems. Oh, my God, man. Holy crap. This is the hugest rug ever. This is worse than the last pick. Ugh, gosh. All right. Moving on. Jaggy says, I love Jasmine, V-E-T, and Gala. Before discovering your channel, despite having skin in the game, never had the charts, just partnerships, and use case. Awesome, man. Now you see that... The charts are a million times more important than the partnerships and the use case and the tech and the utility. The chart always explains what's happening. How greedy is the team? How good is the tokenomics? And how much pumping potential is there? Because let's be real. We're in it for the, the money. We want to buy into good cryptos early that are going to pump up and, incre and, and, and increase in value and appreciate over time. And so... Sure, the partnerships and use, use cases can help that, but the chart is going to show how how effective that is in pumping the price. So, yeah, dude, those are some big scams. Uh, for anyone else, if you're holding these scams like VeChain, uh, this is a pump and dump that you should not be holding. Uh, Gala also is another major pump and dump that you should definitely not hold. And then Jasmine didn't even pump and dump. Jasmine just rugged straight out the gate. It's a major scam. So. Uh, Jakey, congratulations, man. I'm happy you, uh, sold off your scams and got some better picks. Um, yeah, those are, those are terrible picks, dude. So I'm glad you, uh, got your finances turned around. Waldor says the story about how you held in the last bull run was the same thing I did. I could have been a millionaire. Yeah, I know, dude. I, I, uh, I could have made like a million bucks last bull run, but, uh, my greedy ass just didn't sell enough or I sold some of it too early. It's, it's kind of hard to figure out the, the times to sell. And also, I was holding a bunch of scams last bull run, but I also made a lot of money last bull run, so it went both ways. BDC 20%, ETH 60, and Casper 20. Um, yeah, that's fine. I respect it. I mean, if it were me personally, I would I would uh, go heavier on BDC and Casper than Ethereum because Ethereum changed from proof of work to proof of stake. Um, but don't get me wrong. Ethereum's, Ethereum is still bullish. I hold a lot of Ethereum, but I, I think I would... um. I would distribute the percentages more equally, like a third to each. Uh, but it's fine the way it is, right? I, I think it's pretty nice how you have your portfolio set. Like, you're, you're doing good, man. It's, it's fine. Might have to dump my last bag of Jasmine. Yeah, unless you want to become homeless, dump the Jasmine before you get rugged any further. Star Atlas have to be the best looking game. All right, let's see. What's Star Atlas? <laughs> oh totally man has to be the best game ever and we'll just completely ignore the rugged looking chart uh ton coin it's a big market cap already brandon and it's really well known so it's not bad it's fine but it's just such a big market cap already tau has bdc tokenomics damn bro you just get me more bullish on tau i'll, I'll take a look at it i'll take a look at it later when i get more time because uh for right now i don't know much about it. I wait, okay, I'll I'll take a look now. Let's see. So here's the Bententor Tell uh information, wallets, tutorials. Um who's this where's the team? What is the point of Bententor Tell? Oh, internet machine learning. Where's the team at? It's on ledger. Oh wait, it's on ledger. No, okay, it's not on ledger. But oh, where's the team? I can't find the team. I would like to see who is running this. Only 1,300 followers. Do you know what the market cap is? Because the market cap on CMC 
is way too high than what I think it actually is. Gene says Binance News and actual listing pumped Gala and Coinbase pumped it to 83 cents. Yes, I think you're correct. So yeah, Binance listing came first. Coinbase listing came shortly afterwards. Yep, that pumped Gala. So now we have a chance to get the next Gala to become the next Coinbase listing, the next Binance listing. Dude, GFAL is already in contact with um, Binance, which most people don't know this. So here's from the Games for a Living CEO. He said, I want to share some updates about Games for a Living. I want to be transparent and blah, 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 blah. And then he says, additionally, we can accompany the news with a boost from Binance that's waiting for us to activate Web3 features. So what is this boost from Binance? Is it a listing? Is it an AMA, a incubation, another investment? Um, so I don't know what it is, but the main takeaway that's bullish is that GFAL is in direct contact with Binance. So they have potential to get listed on Binance. And um, if they actually want to get mass global adoption, they need to get on accessible exchanges. So I'm pretty sure they can get Binance easily. Games for a Living's team is based out of Spain. So they're going to be targeting big global exchanges, right? They're going to target Binance first because Coinbase is American. So I think GFAL has a lot of uh, potential to get on Binance. So yeah, dude, GFAL looking pretty bullish. I do recommend... Getting a small bag, it has it, it, it can go to ten dollars, dude. It's it's crazy, man. What's up? Feel it. Uh Fod says, Do you have a video on how to buy a tangum online? Uh, what do you need a video for? You just uh go to tangum, come here, select the three pack, and then click order, and then you can get it. Now, if you don't want to use the main site, check the resellers first. You might be able to find like an Amazon link, and then you can get it on Amazon. It might ship faster. So check the resellers, but um, if not, you can use the main website. It doesn't matter. E either one. Potential MC has potential to be in the hundreds of billions. Nearest competitor is OpenAI. BT current MC is only 1% of OpenAI. Dang, dude. So what is the current MC? Let's see. So if you're saying <clears throat> OpenAI... It's an ERC-20 token? It's not even a layer one. Market cap is zero? Am I looking at the right one? Any more information, Nighthawk? What's the actual market cap on Potenter? I can't find it. Uh, what swap can I get? GFAL? Uh, it's PancakeSwap. Get, pan get it on PancakeSwap. And also... If you have a Tangem hardware wallet, you can actually use PancakeSwap directly from Tangem and you can swap BNB to GFAL on Tangem. But um, I usually just use MetaMask to connect to PancakeSwap and then um, then I'll transfer my GFAL from MetaMask to my uh, Tangem. Tal has potential to be the infrastructure for all machine learning as it's more scalable. I mean, yeah, sure. It sounds good. The tech's great. I just, I care about the money though. I care about the... <laughs> The pumps, I mean, but good for the technology. My question is, what's the inherent value in the crypto or the token? Is it a layer one or is it a token? It's, um, let's see. I, oh, no, sorry. You said it's a proof of work fair launch. So that's actually a layer one, which is really good. Is it on? Uh, oh, yeah, it's only exchanges. Awesome, man. So it's not a token. That's really good. So this is a layer one coin that has a lot more inherent value than any token. Uh but what's the use of the coin, right? Like, why do you need it? What do you use it for? Because the machine learning and the AI, it's a, a separate software product that's being built by the team. So what do you actually use the Tau coin for? Do you have to buy their software with the Tau coin or do you have to hold Tau to... Like, what's the machine learning network for? What does that even do? Hey, Galaxy, remember back when... Saitama sc scammed everyone. Yeah, Saitama is a major scam. <laughs> Layer 2 and AI project have future. Layer 2 is definitely... Um, AI is questionable. Layer 2 is for sure, but AI, is, it's a small chance. Layer 2s are better, though. You think Pancake Coin will become deflationary? I don't recommend Pancake Coin. I recommend BNB over that because Pancake Coin, it's, um, it's not the most bullish-looking chart. 
Gaines Network. What is that? All right, Jose. I hope this is decent, man. Oh, wow. That's looking good. It's pumping. Market cap, 120 mil. It's pretty new. Listed on Binance. Yo, man. All right, so it's kind of late. I mean, it's on Binance, but um, it still has a good chart. It's okay. Uh, I might skip on it just because it's already on Binance, but it's fine. It's not bad. It's got a good chart. G file pumping 25% today. You are doing a good job. <laughs> I'm not trying to pump it. I don't know why people buy the cryptos I talk about. This is not financial advice. Everything I talk about is a scam. G file is a scam. Don't buy it. Why is everyone buying G file? Is it pumping? And that's crazy, dude. As soon as I make a bullish video, everyone goes, oh my God, I got a FOMO. <laughs> and then they buy it. Oh, TommyNet. Yeah, TommyNet has a bullish chart, but I think Kerry Crypto told me that this is a anonymous team. So very bullish chart. I mean, you can throw in 25 bucks. It's a decent pick, but it's got an anonymous team. So pretty sketchy. So it's fine. It's a bullish chart. I would definitely throw in a little bit of money. West Luna says, Galaxy, you're right to an extent. Some of the picks might be red now, but could still 100x in the first bull run. So around 50 bucks to 25, 250 max invested. Shouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, exactly, dude. You kind of get it. I think it's not a bad idea. Just throw a little bit of money into the uh, 200x potential cryptos. And uh, one or two or, or a few of them will cover your losses in the others. Check um, Ovar, over. What is over? Yo, man, looking pretty crappy. Don't recommend. Casper holding is gains. Love it. I don't love it, though. I want the price to go down more so I can buy it cheaper. Damn it. I don't like it. <laughs> Flux, Cast, GFAL, BDC, some BNB. Anything else I should add? Oh, those are great picks. I like Flux. The only reason I didn't put Flux on the list is because it already went through a bull run, but Flux is a... Bullish chart, nonetheless. I think it's going to pump again. Um, it's at a dip. Uh, ooh, hold on. Flux is currently dumping under the previous lows, so I might hold off on Flux for now. It's it's Flux is on thin ice, so I think it's fine. I, I won't worry too much about it. It's a good pick, but it already went through a bull run. Anything else you should add? I would say, uh, Jose, grab a small bag of Pip. I think this is the main one that you're missing. Annex array. I don't think that one was good. Uh, I can't remember. Blind block. Oh, wait. Maybe this is good. It's okay. It's fine. It could bump. Uh, it's on exchanges. What does it do? DeFi and TradeFi. Yeah, it's whatever. Um, doesn't hurt to buy a little bit. It could bump. The channel and research is enough to be the next millionaire. Yeah, thanks, Jakey. Thanks. Uh, you think GFAL can reach a five bill market cap next bull run? Yeah, it can do it easily. If Gala can do it, then GFAL can also do it for sure. Godwin says, hello, Galaxy. I need to dump my Bitgur and buy Caspa. How do you see that idea? Oh, let me check um, Bitgur. Uh, it rise. This is looking, it looks fine. I. It's not bad, right? I'm not calling Bitgur a scam. It's okay. But, uh, Caspa is definitely better than Bitgert because Bitgert already went through a bull run. So it's kind of old and well-known, uh, but Caspa is newer. So Caspa and also is just better. So if it were me, I would a hundred percent sell Bitgert for Caspa for sure. Like absolutely. Spent all my money on Pulse Chain and Hex. I have 25 bucks left. Will I be okay? Uh, if you bought Hex and Pulse Chain, I think you might go broke. Those are really big scams that have tons of paid marketing on YouTube, Twitter, and other news outlets. It's really not to be trusted. Like Hex is a pump and dump scam, right? It's it's already rugging. Um, Richard Hart and the founders are making millions of dollars off of you and you retail investors who keep buying into their scam. It's a useless layer one. And so what happened was that Richard Hart realized, oh, shit. 
my hex scam is becoming known to be a scam. So now I have to go make a new scam with Pulse Chain. So I don't recommend Pulse Chain either. You have potential to become homeless. These are really bad picks. I'm sorry, man. But with 25 bucks left, I think you're not going to be okay with these two picks. Just being completely real with you, completely honest. I would dump all my Pulse Chain and Hex immediately. Get out of them. They're really big, well-known scams. Mining pool stats? What's that about? Yo, dude, Caspa's up here at number nine. Nice. That's pretty cool, man. So these are the uh, proof of works. Do you think Ethereum will flip BDC next bull run? No, I don't think so. I do not see the reason for it. Bitcoin is the first and best crypto. It's a proof of work. And uh, Ethereum is pretty centralized and it turned into a proof of stake. So I don't think so. How do I transfer PIP to a tangent? So you got to come up here on CoinMarketCap, type in PIP. Come over to the contracts and then uh, click copy. Now, just FYI, the contract is going to have maybe an empty space at the end. So in Tangem, when you go to your wallet and you add the custom token, you have to add it um, as a Solana token. Let's see. So here, you see this in the app for Tangem? Manage tokens. Click on the... Uh, the plus button in the top corner. And then you see where it says contract address. You have to copy the um, contract address here from coin market cap, paste it in there. And then after you paste it in there, go to the end of the contract address. Make sure there's no empty spaces before or after the contract. It has to be a perfect copy and paste. Sometimes it, um, the app is buggy. It'll add an extra space on accident. So make sure you hit the back button. Make sure there's no empty spaces before or after the contract. And then after you do that, uh, DDAD, all the other fields will auto fill. So the network will automatically, or, or make sure you select Solana. So network, um, you see there's a list of networks and then you have to click on Solana right here. And then the name, the token symbol, and the decimals should automatically fill if you did it correctly. And then after you add PIP to your tangent, you have to send a few dollars worth of Solana to your tangent as like rent. So uh, yeah, add a little bit of a Solana to your tangent hardware wallet. Do recommend strongly store PIP on tangent and GFAL and CASPA and literally everything else. Where should we hold GFAL? MetaMask, okay. Yeah, MetaMask is fine, but Tangem is better. I have all my games for living on Tangem. Um, it is supported by Tangem. I'll show you real quick. Let's see GFAL. You see, you turn you uh, type in GFAL in uh, the Tangem app, and it's supported. You can add it. You see that right here? So type in GFAL, and you can add it as a custom token, but the easiest way is just to, t uh, to search it. It's, it's, uh, it's supported. I think one of my Patreon members sent a customer message support to the Tangem team and they just added it. So they're a really good team. So yeah, just add games for a living to your Tangem. Uh, probably the safest way to store it better than MetaMask. Now MetaMask is fine, right? There's nothing wrong with it, but Tangem is a little bit better. Uh, yeah, swap GFAL on PancakeSwap. Yes, that's the way to do it. Harold says I'm back in tune. You got me yesterday. I got <laughs> I got you yesterday with the the Caspa scam video. I know that's hilarious, dude. No open AI. Is, oh, it's not a crypto. Okay, okay, cool. Thanks. We send it. <laughs> hey Galaxy, how come you buy GFAL connecting to MetaMask, then transfer to Tangem? How come you don't buy by connecting Tangem directly to PancakeSwap? Because um when I when I first bought GFAL, um, my BNB was on Ledger at the time. I didn't have Ledger on uh, on Tangem. So just out of convenience, I just so happened to um, have BNB on MetaMask as well. So that's why. But from now on, I will be swapping directly with um, the Tangem app. You can do you can do it that way, yes. <clears throat> Please. 
playable. What is that? Uh, oh, nice. It's a new one. Oh, wait. Do they have an old one? Did they relaunch? I'm not sure, dude. It's an Avalanche chain. Don't recommend it if, not, if it's on Avalanche. Gensler, don't recommend. It's a meme coin. You can throw in five bucks. Uh, Dynex is a scam according to early information. BRS, play this stream back and someone left some information that uh, Dynex has a, a scammer team. Ross with the $5 super chat. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much for your support. Let's go. We got to have a quick pump it up, pump up the like button. Let's go. We're going to make a lot of money next bull run. To be gum, a millionaire. Don't you know, pump it up. Yo, hit the like. the like button. point with the five dollar super chat thank you man so much i appreciate it and let's go pump up the like button appreciate your support and you're asking good questions ross i think you're doing well you're going to be set for the next bull run let's get it man let's get this money let's pump it up andrew says thanks man again you make my day anytime dude anytime uh sakina says me too i want the price to go down but is it ever going to happen i don't want to average up it doesn't matter sakina just just get it now get it next week and in two weeks and you'll, you'll be less stressed out. Don't be stressed out waiting for the dips. Monero, the only use case coin. It's the best privacy coin. I agree. Um, but it's not going to pump a lot, right? You're not going to make much, you know, returns. But it's a good crypto. It's, it has a lot of inherent value. Alliance block is a big scam. Really? Why? I mean, I, I believe you. But why is it? Like, can you give a reason? R Fox. I don't know, man. You showed scams earlier, so I'm not sure if that's legit. How much you found to be a millionaire next bull run? Uh, probably like at least a hundred thousand. Uh, a hundred thousand uh, coins, not <laughs> not dollars worth. A hundred thousand tokens. Hex, big scam, brother. How are people gonna give their money and lock them away for so many years? I know it's crazy, dude. Or sorry, Christina. I think you're a female. It's crazy. Yeah, it's. Uh, I can't believe anyone's going to waste money on Hex and Pulse Chain. Did you add Velo to the list? Um, I added it to my watch list. I'm going to keep an eye on it. I might I might include it in my next stream. It might make it to the next one. So 
I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep doing these top seven cryptos every week and I'll, I'll, I'll keep reevaluating these, right? Because obviously, you know, Dynex is a scam. I had it in the thumbnail, but I took it off for Dion. Um, I'll reevaluate Velo and see if it can beat Arion or Tenet or Dion. We'll see. It has potential to make it to the list. Jimmy says, to become, just had to do it. <laughs> just had to do it. Yeah, you guys, you guys see how I um I updated the uh I updated my stream with the pictures up here. It says to become right here. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And also says uh live stream right here. And then oh, up here I got my tangent promo code. And then right here, just a reminder, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the little bell notification so that when I go live, you actually know I'm going live. Make sure your notifications are turned on in three places. The YouTube button right here, the subscribe button is number one. Your YouTube app settings is a second place. You got to turn on notifications. And if you're using an iPhone, check your iPhone notification settings and make sure that is also enabled for the YouTube app. Because I know some people say, oh, I didn't get the notification. It's like there's three places where the notifications are uh, being set. So check all the three places. Brandon says, other than Caspar, I would not allocate more than 5% to Moonbags. I'd rather be safe and get the top alts. BNB, Matic ETH, and King BDC. Yeah, that's fair, bro. If you want to go with a, a lower risk portfolio, I totally respect that, man. That's that's cool, dude. That's awesome, man. That, nothing wrong with that. That's a great strategy. Stalker says, yeah, top pal coins, if you want to look, are on. Oh, yeah, mining pools. I see that. Cool. Gene says, I'm shocked that billions were sacrificed for Pulse Chain and Pulse X and zero dollars from that was put in the liquidity. Rich kept the billions and that's robbery on steroids. Yeah, it's a huge scam, right? Like Hex and Pulse Chain are clearly blatant pump and dump scams. It's really sad. I cannot believe that Richard Hart isn't in jail, right? Uh, it's just crazy, man. People can just get away with pump and dumping cryptos and scamming retail investors every bull run. It's just nuts. Yeah, Tau looks good, Nighthawk. I'll I'll keep researching it. It has potential to make it to this list. It looks pretty good, honestly. Alex says, why don't you why didn't you go all in Polygon last bull run like Casper now? Because Alex, last bull run, I was a complete noob. I had no idea what I was doing. There was no YouTubers or Twitter people that had information that was helpful. Uh I had no mentors. I couldn't find anyone that knew what the hell they were doing. And uh, I did not know what I was doing either. So I had to learn everything the hard way. But now I know. So now you people can learn from someone who's uh, been there before. Thinking about buying Perry. Uh, is that a meme coin? If so, I would just put in like five bucks. <clears throat> Waldor says XRP is so weak. All major YouTubers hype XRP. But it still goes down. Still goes down. How sad. Yeah, XRP sucks, man. There's no way. XRP, you might make a 3X in two years if you're lucky. XRP sucks, dude. What about Trust Wallet with password security? Uh, Trust Wallet, I believe, is backed by a seed phrase, right? I mean, it's fine. But at the end of the day, cold storage is always going to be way safer than any software wallet. Because with the software wallets, if you connect to the wrong website, you get drained of all your funds. Dude, I've had people message me saying, hey, Galaxy, I accidentally connected my Trust Wallet to the wrong website. And they drained me of all my funds. So with Tanjum, there's no possibility of connecting to the wrong websites or hacker websites, or phishing sites. It's a lot safer. <laughs> Truth Storybook says, oh man, I thought you might like Pulse Chain. <laughs> I bought $7 worth of cash for a long time ago. I should have got more. It's not too late now, Truth. If I were you, I would definitely sell all my Hex and Pulse Chain and put it in Caspa now. Caspa is not late. Waldor says Caspa and GFL are such good picks. No one talks about them and they pump like crazy while everything else is down. Exactly, dude. Like the cryptos that are pumping now are looking really strong. HBAR is such a weak crypto. I remember when I it first got listed on Coinbase and then it went down. How pathetic. Yeah, because the whole HBAR team and the pre-allocated tokens to the venture capitalists, they knew what they're doing, right? They're waiting for the Coinbase listing. They're waiting to dump on retail and to scam everybody. And unfortunately... People still go around watching YouTube videos thinking HBAR is going to make them a millionaire, but it's impossible because the tokenomic allocation and the pre-distribution is a scam. It already got listed on Coinbase. It already went through a bull run and it already did a pump and dump. So 
H bar is god awful. Is 100K G foul enough? Yes, that is a great bag. I think you're pretty set. Um, you could make a million dollars with that type of a bag. I'm serious. I think you could. Waldor says, can you pull up the Jasmine chart again? Because <laughs> I feel like laughing. All right, let's see the Jasmine chart. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, my God. Holy shit, dude. This thing just got completely rugged. This is just terrible. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I just I feel so bad for anyone who's holding this scam. <laughs> I still think G fell will pull back to half a cent sometime this year. Yeah, it's possible, right? It can still go down. Um, will it small chance, but I think it could half a cent. I don't know about half a cent because I believe the new floor should be 0 0.008. So, um, I don't know. I don't think it's going to go down that much, but I could be wrong. Uh, feel it says, what about RSR? Uh, RSR is a pump and dump scam from the last bull run. Holy crap, man. This looks like garbage. This is a really bad pick. Gensler do not recommend. It's a meme coin. Just do five bucks. Exna, Nuri, only on Coin Paprika. I won't consider it unless it gets on CMC. Gala, to the moon. <laughs> oh, sure, bro. Gala, totally going to go to the moon. <laughs> yep. And yo, Jimmy Bruda, a new YouTube member. Yo, man. Welcome aboard to the YouTube membership. Thank you for joining. It only costs five bucks a month. You get to support the channel and you get a custom green color name and little badge in the YouTube chat. Thank you so much. I'll pump it up for you real quick. Don't you know, pump it up. You got to pump it up. Don't you know, pump it up. Jimmy Buddha, pump it up. Don't you know, pump it up. Man, thank you so much for joining the YouTube membership. Have fun with the green name. Uh, you can spam the the Caspa stickers, the Galaxy stickers, but not the Doge La Mars stickers. I got I to gotta delete those. Someone remind me. But yeah, spam the stickers if you want. They're pretty cool. And welcome to the membership. And holy crap, another super chat coming through. I'll get to you in a second. But yeah, if anyone's wondering, we do have a few YouTube members. You get green names and you get a badge. Um, where's all the YouTube members? Y'all are offline. But um, yeah, you'll see later how this works. Uh, <clears throat> if anyone wants to join the membership, five bucks a month, you support my channel and you get a custom green colored name in the chat. And you just click this join button right here to join the membership. Thank you so much, Jimmy Bruto. Welcome aboard. <clears throat> Please check BGB. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. It's a bullish chart. And Big Cat is a bullish exchange. Holy crap, man. Looking bullish. Would recommend grabbing a small bag. Looks good, dude. Looks really good. <laughs> the big YouTubers do not talk about cryptos until their bags are packed. <laughs> they say they, got, they get in early, but they only pump cryptos that have pumped already. Yeah, <laughs> they always do it all the time. Lionel says, Crypto Galaxy, do you know when Caspa team will increase the supply? The, the Caspa team does not have control over that. It's a decentralized proof of work coin. You have to mine it. It's a decentralized network of miners. Anyone can mine Caspa with uh, mining equipment. The Caspa team has no control over it. Phil says, your channel is one of the few I follow. It's difficult to find someone here who's actually honest and not chilling garbage. A lot of big YouTubers pushing crap. I know. It's like, wow, someone who's honest, who actually is trying to make money and help their audience. What a concept. It's like, uh, it's just crazy, man. I, it's like I shattered reality. Apparently, this is a, a crazy concept that people just don't do out here. But I will do it. I, I actually want people to make money. What's up, Andy? Rio is a scam. I'm sorry. It's a pump and dump. Jakey says, we appreciate you, bro, giving some amazing insights into the markets, going to join the Patreon. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for the kind words. And if you join the Patreon, uh, then welcome aboard. I recommend getting on the Patreon sooner rather than later because 
Um, I, I realized that the Patreon is too cheap, right? So I think in a few days, I'm going to up the price of premium to $29.99. And then I'm going to up the price of VIP to $59.99. So if you get it now, you'll be grandfathered in forever at these current prices. But I know 100% sure I am going to raise these prices. I've already done it before and I will do it again. So Patreon looking decent. Uh, VIP tier is fun because you can track all of my trades, everything I buy, everything I sell, you will see exactly what I do with 100% honesty. And you can join my Discord group on any tier and chat with us in the general chat room. And if you want to do video calls with me, I already do video calls with my current whale, who is Kevin. Shout out to Kevin. Thank you so much, bro, for supporting the channel. We had some pretty good conversations around crypto, working on his portfolio, just talking about the crypto market as a whole and investing strategies. Uh, on the whale tier, we'll do one-on-ones video calls. I'll give you my phone number and you can text me whenever. We can chat about crypto whenever. So that's the whale tier. Uh, for now, I'm only going to take one more person because it is a, it's a pretty serious commitment, right? Uh, I'm giving you my phone number and we're going to do uh, video calls. And I, I'm going to do research on your portfolio. So I'm only going to take one more uh, whale for now. So yeah, check out the Patreon. Thank you everyone so much for your support on the Patreon. It's a, good, it's a nice way to support the channel. Rio is a scam. I'm sorry. Uh, added Vela, not Velo. I don't think I added it. <clears throat> oh, did I do Vela? Not Velo? All right, let's see. What's Velo? <clears throat> Holy crap, dude. This is a scam, man. That's terrible. <laughs> is Y predict a scam? Let's see. Can't even find the chart. Did you spell it right? Hit the salt chain. But Sol is a scam. I'm just curious. Yeah, dude, I understand it's contradictory because Solana sucks. Um, so Pip is currently bridging to Ethereum. They're bridging 5% of the supply to Ethereum. Uh, like, even though Solana, the price is a scam, the blockchain still exists. Uh, but it is risky, nonetheless, that Pip is on Solana. But also hear this, Mark, that even though Pip is on Solana, all the money and liquidity is on exchanges. So it's not a, a, a DEX trading token. There is a little bit of liquidity on the Solana DEX for PIP, but um, <clears throat> PIP was originally launched on central exchanges. They said the only reason they use Solana is for uh, the token allocations, right? So, um, yeah, it's a bit of a red flag, but it's not the end of the world. <laughs> Where to get GFAL? It is on PancakeSwap. Jason says, I'll buy you a new shirt after the run. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. I don't know if that's a, a, a compliment or a, you're trying to roast me. <laughs> Brandon says, forget Tangem. Store your Caspa for free in my wallet. <laughs> Sorry, working. Didn't know if you added Velo to the list. Uh, I'll keep it under consideration. Sent all my pip to my soul on Ledger. It's in the blockchain, but Ledger... Hasn't listed PIP yet. Yo, dude, rookie move. Man, that sucks. <laughs> LM wants to know opinion on Loop Network. Oh, yeah. Loop's pretty good. Thanks for reminding me. It's uh, got a bullish chart. I do have some of this. Looks good. Definitely get some uh, Loop. I'll add it to my watch list. It's a micro cap. I think it's a layer one. <clears throat> really good chart. Uh, and it's on exchanges. Yeah, this is a good pick. This is solid. Recommend it. Go ahead and get some. Go buy some of this. Like, just get twenty five bucks or fifty bucks, because, dude, if this does thousand x, you'll make you'll make thousands of dollars. Yeah, DNX is a scam. <laughs> Come on, XRP. <laughs> Joe Paris, Shillin Hex, and Pulse. Sending people to the gas chambers. Yeah, Joe Paris, he shills a lot of scams. It's part of his uh, money-making strategy, unfortunately. Yeah, Patrick, good picks. Ator is good. Bullish chart. Uh, Miria is turning into a scam. Do not recommend it, really. What's up, Zucker? Keep it to seven. Otherwise, too much choice. I know, dude. There's so many choices. I mean, it's fine to get a lot of choices. Just put $25 into each one. Just put small amounts because you never know which one's going to do the 1,000x. 
9x is a scam. I'm sorry. Play the stream back to the beginning, and someone left some information that showed that the Dynex team has a scam history. <laughs> is it worth talking about page sales on Twitter? Sometimes they might not look as obvious as YouTubers. Uh, I don't understand your question. Down has more potential for gains than Caspa? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, they have good marketing, but it's so maybe. OK, maybe you're right. Maybe it could have more gains, but it's really risky. So unless you're like on the Dion team, you don't know when they're going to dump it. <laughs> but always feeling down. But I look at the chart of Jasmine and I think my life could have been worse. <laughs> and I am happy again. <laughs> Yeah, I think cash can go to three dollars, Rich. Definitely. Crypto Honesto with the nine ninety nine super chat, dude. Thank you so much for the super chat, man. Appreciate it. Uh, you're saying it makes me sick to my stomach seeing people like Joe Paris, Shilling Pulse, and Hex on his channel, basically sending new people to the gas chambers. I know, dude. It's really sad. Uh, it makes me upset as well because there's so many newbies that come into crypto and. When they look at, you know, nicely edited videos and they listen to a guy who sounds like he knows his shit. And it's just really sad that these people keep scamming people. You know, like Joe Paris is absolutely a paid chiller and a scammer, uh, but he has no remorse whatsoever. I, I, If it were me, I can't sleep well at night knowing that I am shilling scams. So um, the only way I'm going to sleep at night and feel good about myself is to show picks that I actually invest in. I actually believe in, and I actually think that people watching me who buy these will make money. And you're like, wow, what a surprising concept to actually do that. I know it's crazy, dude. The crypto space is filled with scammer YouTube channels. Um, another similar one to Joe Paris, another scam channel is, uh, crypto gains. Crypto Archie, Crypto Seth. Um, those are like scam channels that show the scam cryptos. And then you have other channels of honest people who are not paid shillers, but they show crap. Like Jake Gordon. <laughs> he shows crap. <laughs> um, who else is there? I think what is uh because I yeah, you I know I know you people watch these these people like Joe Paris. It, it sucks, man. I can't believe Joe Paris just shows every Dude, if you follow Joe Paris, unsubscribe, ask him how he sleeps well at night, chilling scams, and just run away. Do not recommend this guy at all. But uh, yeah, Crypto Honesto, thank you so much for your super chat, man. I'm going to try to keep 100% real and honest with y'all. I don't want people losing money on the picks that I invest in. So yeah, would recommend reconsider who you watch on YouTube. Question everybody. Question me too. Like, I'm not saying I'm perfect. Like, you can question me as well. I'm not going like, oh my god, yeah, I'm I'm the best YouTuber ever because I'm not perfect either. But uh, at least I'm trying to at least I'm trying to be honest and make some money. Yeah, thanks again so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it, bro. The gas chain. You said uh, his channel is basically sending people to the gas chambers. <laughs> Man, it's uh, it, it's sad, but it's true. Jasmine, Antarctica's Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, 120K Caspa is pretty solid. No, XRP is not going to go anywhere. I'm sorry. Since you'll make so many millions, we should pull our money together and buy an island and name it Caspa. Okay, let's do it, man. I'm in. RxD, it's uh, it's pretty iffy. Uh, it, it's fine. Maybe put in twenty bucks. It's it's not too bad. CG says buy high, sell higher. I'm confused. <laughs> um, you got to look at the past uh chart though. Like you got to look at the all time chart, the track record. Uh, I think Medicaid became a pump and dump. I used to think it had a bullish chart, but it turned bad. Uh, it's whatever, man. Uh, maybe throw in 20 bucks. I don't strongly recommend it, but I can't confirm it's a scam. 
it's okay. It's not great. Uh, I would not consider it to make my top seven, though. Truth says, I guess I messed up. Just started a month ago. Well, dude, Truth, the fact that you realize you messed up within, a, within your first month of crypto, do you realize how lucky you are? Dude, a majority of retail investors, including myself, we don't realize that we messed up until two years in. Two years! And you're saying after a month, you're upset that you found out after a month? Dude, you're blessed. <laughs> you found out now after a month because now you actually have time to fix your portfolio and get yourself set straight for the next bull run. Because right now in the bear market, this is the time to learn to make mistakes and to readjust your portfolio. You do not want to be figuring out your mistakes during the bull run because that, at, at that point, it's too late because at that point, you will be missing the 100x and 500x opportunities. So I would say you're really lucky to be getting into crypto now, to learn your mistakes now, to find my channel, and to realize that some picks are great and some are others are crap. So uh, I think you're doing well because last bull run, dude, I made so many mistakes in my first two years of crypto and... Uh, I had to learn everything the hard way. Man, y'all are so lucky you get to hear me and my experience because I'm basically saving you people years of uh, headache and uh, scams that you could have gone through. <laughs> like this. So Lionel says, I'm so thankful I discovered your channel two weeks ago and I bought Caspa. Thank you, Galaxy. Anytime, man. Absolutely glad I could help out. And thank you so much for supporting the channel. I'm so happy you found it too. Why predict in a pre-sale? Do not recommend pre-sales ever. They're very risky. A lot of them dump after the launch. Uh, and some of them don't even launch at all. They're actual scams. So don't recommend a pre-sale because it's a high, high, high risk and you could lose all your money. A pre sale ever since. Um, yo, can anyone hear me? My stream just like pooped out for a second, dude. My internet is a huge scam. Xfinity sucks, dude. Xfinity is going to zero. Comcast sucks. A bunch of centralized <laughs> scammers, man, giving me the shit internet. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that delay. Sorry about that. We back. Buddy, I'm from India, uh, waiting for the day. We'll all be parting it up, pump it up song in person. Yeah, dude, after I make millions of dollars, um, I'm inviting everyone in my Patreon to a yacht party, and we're going to play the pump it up song on full blast on the yacht. It's going to happen. Do you vote Trump? Uh, I voted for the Libertarians usually, but from now on, now that I realize that the Libertarians can never win, I might vote Republican just because they're better for crypto and finances, but there's still downsides to the Republicans. But in terms of money, it does favor me the most. So I might go for the Republicans. Um, is Trump running for Republican next election? Is he? Uh, Walter says, you're right. Just DCA. Don't worry about the price. I miss so many cryptos waiting for them to go lower. Very difficult to hit a target price. Yeah, it's pretty difficult. Um, but I will say this on the Patreon video I posted a couple days ago, I explained my target entry. So I would recommend just get on the free trial real quick, watch the video and you can see my target entries. Um, cause I think I can get cast by at a certain price. So I would recommend just check the video out. People love this video, man. 20 likes, five comments. I got some extra videos on the Patreon. It's pretty nice, dude. Opti AI, uh, what is that? <laughs> Opti, yeah, Optimus AI. Uh, it's dumping. I would tread with caution. Give Loop consideration. Loop Network is bullish. Yeah, Loop Network looking bullish. Do recommend getting a little bit of that one. Absolutely. <laughs> Thomas says, since I found you, I'm working on my portfolio. I ha I had to throw out all the scams. Thanks. XRP and H, H bar were front in line. Yeah, dude, that's awesome, man. Glad you could uh, uh, reconstruct your portfolio and get rid of the scams. That's awesome, dude. Congratulations. Compete. Uh, all right, let's see. Carson says I should check out Compete. 
What is compete? I checked it out. Uh, it's okay. It's a uh, it's a decent chart. It's not bad. Oh, uh, it's only on Uniswap, so it's not a good pick because in order to make mass crypto adoption, to get listed on Coinbase, Binance, and all the big exchanges, you got to be on at least one exchange, man. Holy crap. This is on no exchanges at all. I don't trust it. I don't trust any crypto that's only on DEXs. And you're saying, but DEXs are great, right? Yeah, well, they're great for you and me because we're part of the 2% of people who actually understand how to use DEXs. But 98% of money in crypto comes from people who are really lazy or crypto ignorant, and they only use centralized exchanges. So who's going to pump your bags? The other 2% of retail investors who use DEXs? Maybe, but also maybe not. So you need, you need the central exchanges to actually pump your bags. XLN, Luna, one is a scam for anyone that invested. Yeah, Luna is a scam, dude. RenQ and Miria. Uh, Miria has been dumping, so I don't recommend it anymore. I got rid of my Miria. But uh, how is RenQ Finance? It's, uh, it's kind of going down, but it's not the worst. It could have potential. What does it do? Connect blockchains. Is it a blockchain? I don't think it's a blockchain, though. Yeah, it looks kind of iffy, but... And it's not a scam. You have to keep an eye on it. It has potential. Dion will hit multiple billions. And I highly doubt that Casper will hit 10 billion. <laughs> Wacko. You were in Casper under 10 million MC? Dude, I don't think you understand the fundamentals in Casper. Dude, Casper is not run by scammers. So even though Dion could pump more, Caspo will not rug you. So um, famous last words, bro. When Caspo hits 10 billion, you're going to be like, what? And then you're going to be that guy who sold early. <laughs> Snow says, I put 8K in Jasmine, but luckily got out with 1K profit before it went down again. Oh, phew. Thank goodness you got your money back on Jasmine. Ariane says, ever happened in public? Someone said, hey, is he Crypto Galaxy? No, nah, it's never happened, dude. People who watch me come from all over the world. The odds that I run into someone who knows me or recognizes me, I doubt it. It's never happened. Roger putting more money in Cass than G Fell because Cass has more room to grow without being afraid to get dumped on. Yeah, that's fair, dude. That's a fair take. That's why I recommend... 700 bucks to Caspa and only 100 to GFAL because GFAL is higher risk. Yeah, XLN Luna is totally a scam, dude. Just sell it now. Just get rid of it. Great, the guy. What's up, dude? To become. How are you, my friend? I'm just getting back into America from Romania with the National Guard. Definitely miss your content. Yeah, I was like wondering, where's Great, the God? I haven't heard from you. In a minute, how was your trip from to uh, Romania? But uh, yeah, it's great to have you back, bro. What's up, man? What is the best scam between Pip and between G <laughs> Oh man, um, the better one? Gosh, I don't know, man. Um, hmm. probably G -fell? But Pip is invested in by Coinbase. Uh, I'd say GFAL is better, but it's not by much. I, I treat them. They're pretty equal. <laughs> to, to the guy who said, everyone will change their mind on XRP. Uh, no, no, I won't. <laughs> the only honest YouTubers, you know, you and Crypto Casey, do you know her? Um, I saw her once. I didn't really like her channel because, let's see, what does she talk about? She just talks about um, news. So I guess she it's fine. I guess she doesn't support any, she doesn't show any scam cryptos. But the thing I didn't like about her, like she's okay. She has an okay channel. The thing I didn't like about her is that she sells um, a trading software, which is really scammy. Which one is it? Or maybe not. 
I thought she saw something. Tangium, Eureka, Yeah, she's okay. I think she has good news on crypto. She's fine. Mark says, I watched Archie and Seth even got a few of their picks, but after a while, their logic on picks didn't make any sense. <laughs> they pushed Algorand, Gala, and Microcap for Microcaps. They were purse pushing insurance. I was like, yeah, dude, Crypto Seth and Archie's philosophies are to shill everything with no actual reasons behind it because shilling all the cryptos is a really good um, monetary strategy for crypto YouTubers because when you shill everything, People love getting new picks. They like different cryptos. But Crypto Archie and Seth have actual no um, foundation in which they invest in cryptos. They have no philosophy. They have no strategy. It's just, oh, look, I found this new crypto. I think it could be good. And so you're never going to make money on their picks because they shill hundreds of different cryptos saying everything's going to do 100x. It's impossible to make money <laughs> on anything shilled by Seth, Archie, and Crypto Gains. So you know how their network started is it all started with Crypto Gains. And then from Crypto Gains, Crypto Archie started his channel as a copy of Crypto Gains. And then from Crypto Archie and from Crypto Gains came out Crypto Seth, who copied both Archie and Gains. So um, Crypto Gains is like the, the grandfather of the scammers. And then Crypto Archie is like the the dad and then crypto seth is like the little boy uh they're all three really similar channels they they all follow the same scamming strategy as uh crypto gains harold says i'm bullish on xrp i'm sure when the green light comes i will have made something oh sure <laughs> go ahead and buy your xrp bro xrp to the moon they will, win, they will win the lawsuit, and you will make a million dollars, I'm sure. <laughs> Mark says, I asked them, how is Algorand being cheaper now than when it was at the bottom of the prior bear market? A deal. Exactly, but they have no idea what they're doing. They just want to scam people. <laughs> Rasul says, when is the best time to invest in Caspa? Uh, now and tomorrow and the next day. Litecoin sucks. I'm sorry. It doesn't look good. Make a video how much you need of a certain asset to be a millionaire. ASAP. Dude, you don't become rich overnight, okay? It takes time, Devin. You got to have patience. There's no way to make a million dollars ASAP because if you have that mindset, you're going to go broke. You got to have a – you got to be patient, dude. It takes time, man. Truth says, thanks, you're right. I'll sell the hex and join the Patreon. Please wait a couple days to raise the prices. Okay, I'll, thanks for, I appreciate your support, man. I'm glad that you have an open mind and that you're uh, taking in the new perspective. You're willing to learn, dude. Most people just don't want to learn. They call me a fudder. They call me an idiot and they think they know everything. So to accept the fact that you don't know everything, um, which I do too. I know that I don't know everything. It's a good mindset to take. So yeah, thanks, man. If you join Patreon, thank you so much. If you uh, decide to join and uh, support my channel. Um, and like you said, and like I said, I am going to raise these prices. I'm 100% sure I will do it. Premium tier is going up to $29.99 and VIP is going up to $59.99 because I realized that I am a one-of-a-kind channel and this information that I supply cannot be found anywhere else. So that means that my content, in my opinion, is way more valuable than I've been pricing it. So I've been actually underpricing my my uh, Patreon tier. So yeah, check out the Patreon this week because I think in a few days or in a week, uh, in a few days, I will be raising these prices for sure. So if you get in now, uh, you'll be grandfathered in at these prices. <laughs> Jeremiah says, thanks and join the video. Thanks, dude. Appreciate your support, man. Waterer says, stop spreading FUD. Cast but to a dollar is FUD because <laughs> it could go way higher. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, you're, you're freaking hilarious. Dude. That, that's funny, man. I bought Caspa at too high of a price at 0 0.0027. What? You mean 0 0.027? To become Loot Network and Dion, what's your thoughts? Yeah, they're both pretty bullish. Get a little bit of each of them. 
I have lost tens of thousands in crypto because I opened my eyes and invested in so many scams. Yeah, me too, dude. I also invested in scams. I also lost tens of thousands of dollars, but now you know. So I'm glad you're figuring it out now. And now um, if you follow my strategy, your, your portfolio will probably be slowly going up ways. So I think you're, you're going to be more set now. That's awesome, dude. Loop Network, just another trash EVM that claims high TPS. Yeah, I agree. It's trash, but the chart is still bullish. It still has 100x potential. There's so many cr trash cryptos that still pump. Being trash doesn't mean you can't pump. Like, Dion is trash, but it's going to pump. So, Loop Network, is it trash? Yes, but it's going to pump. Jay Williams, how'd you get that November 2025 date for the peak of the bull run? So, uh, this is based on the four-year halving cycle for Bitcoin, and it always has a four-year cycle for tops. So, I'll prove it to you that November 2025 is the next peak. The previous peak was November 2021. The peak before that was November 2017. And the peak before that was November 2013. Coincidence? I think not. So I'm pretty sure November 2020-25 is going to be the next peak. Great says, just been busy. I'm back now. So if we buy $700 of CASPA, what is the price prediction for 2024 to 2025? Uh, yeah, t price prediction for the next bull run for Caspa, I'm calling like $5. So $5 from today's prices, looking at a 263x return. So on 700 bucks today, you would make a profit of 184 grand. Now that's crazy. Prediction for Dion 2025. Thanks for letting me know, let me know to be careful. Okay, so Dion prediction... Uh, next bull run. Got to see how far they took Safe Moon. So, Safe Moon's all time high uh, market cap was five billion. Okay, so Dion's potential is five billion. Current market cap thirty two million. Uh, so one hundred fifty six x potential. Times the current price, which is dot o o three three, so a fifty cent price prediction. That's my price prediction for Dion. Fifty cents. Do you f with NFTs? No, they're scams. They're all scams. I tried them before, but they always dump. There's no value in NFTs. I'm sorry. When is the Mexican standoff with us versus Crypto John's crew? I know it's funny. It's funny how there's a huge overlap in audience between me and Crypto John because of um, Caspa. Um, but also, I call a lot of his picks scams, like HBAR and Jasmine. <laughs> and Crypto John banned me from his Patreon because I called HBAR and Jasmine scams. <laughs> what do you think of HBAR? Does it have a future? No. If you had to pick Jasmine or XRP, what would I pick? Oh, my God. Oh, makes me sick. Uh, it's XRP for sure. XRP has been around longer. Uh, it's an actual coin. Jasmine is not a coin. Jasmine is a token on Ethereum. So it's a huge scam. So XRP is less bad. So XRP is way better than Jasmine. Recently, Dion will make a migration to the Odyssey. The problem is currently it has is another damn ERC-20 token. Yeah, it sucks that it's, it's a token, but it still has pump potential. <laughs> LOL at Crypto Archie and Seth. <laughs> Harold says, patience with XRP. I'm not sure you came across the fair value. Blah, 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 my nurse. Not so yeah, XRP sucks, man. I'm sorry. It's just, it just sucks, dude. Yo, grade with a 1999 super chat. Thanks, man. <laughs> to become, I'm proud to be one of the first members. Yes, dude, you're one of the first 10 people that joined my Patreon. Thank you so much for supporting my channel all this time. I appreciate it, bro, so much. And you're still around on the Patreon, man. You're awesome. Shout out to you, Grade the God, for being on my Patreon since, uh, I think, February this year. My Patreon's only been out since February, March, April, May, June for five months. So you're one of the OGs. So I'm going to pump it up for you, my man. Let's go. You got to pump it up.
don't you know pump it up you gotta pump it up great to god thank you so much man for supporting the channel and being on the patreon and i want to give a shout out to the new patreons that have joined all right so shout out to uh Stai W. I don't know if I pronounced that right. It's S T A I W. Welcome. You just joined on the Patreon. Um, shout out to Paul. Shout out to Angel. Shout out to Marco. Uh, shout out to Gil Jeer. Um, shout out to Rich. Shout out to Tomas. Shout out to Happy Caterpillar. And shout out to Zenray, Josie's, uh, Zalyu. Um, uh, Thank you guys so much for joining the Patreon the past few days. Welcome aboard, everybody. And I also want to give a shout-out to everyone who is online right now. Nerdy Dave, Barracudas, Carrie Crypto, Jacob, Kareem, Math Lachance, MG Phillips, Tommy, Teal Pipas, Unaffordable, Virtual Moon, Zenray, Apex, Dids, uh, Farzad, Guru, Jim P, Razuras, Shadow, Shaggy, AG, and Tech White. You guys, thank you so much for supporting the, the channel. And welcome, Paul, who just joined the Discord. Because Discord is connected to Patreon. That's how it works. So when you join Patreon, you get a Discord invite link to join my private community. And we just had a new uh, sign-up. Paul, welcome, Paul, to the Discord and the Patreon. Uh, if you join the VIP tier, the buy and sell alerts go right over here. Uh, but we mainly use the general chat for like everything else. So yeah, shout out to everybody for supporting the Patreon and especially grade the God. Thank you so much for the super chat. Let's go, man. Caspa up $300. Nice, Harold. What are your price predictions on Jasmine? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Phil says, have you got any other gaming coins other than GFL? Uh, looking at artifact, but still in pre-sale. I don't have any others, and I just I don't like pre-sales. So, but I'm still looking. It could be a new one. Crypto Honesto just joined the Patreon. Nice, <laughs> bro. Welcome to the Patreon. Thanks for supporting the channel, uh, and especially the VIP tier. Shout out to you, bro. Thanks for joining. Uh, make sure you get on the Discord. Check your email from Patreon and click the Discord button. That's going to take you to my Discord. Um, it'll take five minutes to load after you join, and then you'll see my chat room. But if not, shoot me a message on Patreon, and I'll make sure to get you set up. So, yeah, welcome, and thanks for joining. What do you think of Turbo? Is it dead to trash? Uh, let's see. What is Turbo? Holy crap, man. That's a rug. Yeah, it's dead. Crypto from top 15 to hold to the bull market X10, X5 secure. Uh, oh, from the top 15? Uh, the only ones in the top 15 that are good are Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Dogecoin, Polygon, and that's it. Um, XRP sucks, Cardano sucks, Tron sucks, Solana sucks, Litecoin sucks, Polkadot sucks. Toncoin is kind of whatever. Maybe Toncoin has potential. I don't really know. It's kind of new. But uh, yeah, the ones I mentioned are the decent ones. Stacks. I didn't really like stacks. My G-File prediction next bull run. Uh, maybe like a dollar. Yeah, G-File looking decent, dude. What do I think of Quant? Quant's actually decent. I like it. Um, it's better than uh, all the other ISOs like XRP, XLM, Algo. It's way better. It has an actual bullish chart that's getting higher lows. So it's pretty good. Um, the question is, will it break all-time highs? I don't know, but it does have potential. It depends on how greedy the, uh, the Quant founders are, and only they know that. So it's decent. Um. I would recommend it. I mean, I wouldn't strongly recommend it, but it's okay. Quant's much, like the, the chart for Quant is much better than all the other ISO crap. Um, so if I was holding any XRP, XLM, XDC, Algorand, I would certainly sell all those for uh, Quant. Ethereum is a safe hold. 
Yeah, it's pretty safe. You know, it has its problems, but it's also pretty well adopted. It's not going to go anywhere. And it has a bullish chart. Keeps breaking all-time highs every bull run. Thoughts on INJ? Uh, this is a scam. I'll show you the, the scam chart. Uh, actually, no, sorry. Maybe not a scam. It's not the worst chart. I just don't like that it already went through a bull run. So I can't confirm it's a scam. It's not the best chart. It's not the worst. It's okay. It's just, it already went through a bull run and it's pretty old. So I'm looking for new cryptos, Rasta. They have way more potential. The new ones always do better than the old ones. <laughs> LCX sucks. Yeah, LCX is kind of iffy. I don't, I don't like LCX much. LCX is not that great. John Smith says $2 by next bull run. That would only be a $36 billion market cap with the amount of people piling into Casper during the bear market and constantly buying and holding. No VC to dump on us as well. Yes. Well said, man. John Smith, absolutely facts, bro. No VCs, no pre-allocated tokens, no pre-mine, none of that crap. Nobody to dump on us. I will be dumping on you, people, everyone else. Not you, but like the people who buy Caspa later in two years, I will dump on them. And so I'm basically a, a VC. <laughs> I'm not a VC, but you know what I mean? I got into Caspa potentially earlier than most people will. And I'm just a average Joe Schmo. So Caspa is one of the more fair cryptos that you can make the most money on just because there's no pre-allocated coins to the VCs. What do you think will multiply the most? Oh, man, it's hard to say. Um, it's going to be Caspa or GFAL or PIP. Uh, Caspa will be the safest multiplier, but GFAL and PIP could have higher multipliers. I don't really know, man. I bought Pepe, now it dropped. <laughs> Waited and go to zero. Meme coins, no more. Yeah, I don't recommend meme coins. Super risky. Arion. Oh, yeah. glad. Yeah, Arion has a bullish chart. I mean, it's a... Uh, it's got a lot of pump potential, right? 19 mil market cap. Dude, this is pumping, man. Holy crap. Holy mother of all bullish charts, yo. This is crazy. Grab a tiny bag and see what happens. Just throw in 25 bucks. Low market cap coins on Coinbase. Yes, there is one. Um, oh, What is it called? Oh, what was it? Is it through you? remember yo this is bullish too holy crap man throopany get some throopany uh what is the coinbase one i can't remember the name oh it's dymo yes dymo is the best low cap on coinbase it's 12 million and it says it's listed on coinbase so i think you can get it this is the only low cap on coinbase i have ever found so it's this one dymo bullish chart holding higher lows um, uh, it does get new all-time highs and it's relatively new came after the bull run. So pretty good pick. What do you think about YouTubers claiming XRP price is suppressed because of the lawsuit? And when the lawsuit is over, it will pump. I think those YouTubers are just going for the clicks, the views and the ad revenue. <laughs> uh, renders, whatever. Um, it's decent. It's not bad, but it's also kind of old. Crypto John said you were a good dude the other day. When I mentioned you, I don't think he's upset at you at all. Seems like he doesn't care about what happened. Yeah, he gave me a shout out in his video. So maybe we can make up and be friends again. I'm open for it, dude. Uh, I just wish he would in invite me back to his Discord and unban me because he kicked me out of his Discord. And I was like, what the hell, bro? Why'd you kick me out? I'm a, I'm a paying customer and I support your channel overall. And I like you as a person. So uh, hopefully Crypto John can invite me back to his Discord and we can be uh, become on good terms again. So that'd be cool if he doesn't care what happened. Cause I understand, you know, people are going to get defensive when I call their crypto scams, but you know, uh, I, I I'm, I'm, uh, I'm calling the crypto a scam, not the channel. Crypto John's channel is not a scam. Just some of his picks on the channel. <laughs> is Bitcoin a scam? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> what do you mean? Is Bitcoin a scam? <laughs> Rasta says, okay, new coins, got it. Last one, would love to know. Uh, Trios scam. Yeah, it's also an old coin. It, it's got to be new. Trios has a pump and dump chart. You got to pick the new ones. Uh, GPN. Yeah, let's see. GPN, Game Pass Network. It's not even launched, so I don't know. It's not up here. Rod says, your opinion on the portfolio 
BDC, ETH, Quant, Algo, HBAR, LCX, GFAL, and Caspaw. That's pretty solid, man. Like, I would say most of your picks are pretty good. Um, If it were me, I would definitely drop Algo, HBAR, and LCX because those have uh, pump and dump charts, so they're not going to pump again. But uh, Quant's got a pretty good chart. Ethereum and Bitcoin are definitely two of the best crypt cryptos ever on the planet right now. Uh, and GFAL and Caspar are great picks as well. So I would just get rid of Algo HBAR LCX and get more of whatever else is your favorite, right? They're all good picks. But yeah, <laughs> you finished on AI Doge. Yeah, I'm done with that, dude. It's, it's not looking great. What's up, T-Rex, man? What's going on, bro? What's, what's popping? What is up? Everybody, make sure you get your Tanjum, take your crypto offline on off the sketchy exchanges, put it on cold storage, and get it over with. It's cheap, dude. 55 bucks for a Tanjum and 10% off with my promo code. Tanjum is where it is at. You can use my code right there in the, the little picture thing. Oh, and, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to me if you haven't already. Make sure to subscribe. Um, you know, I get a tangent. Uh, check out my Patreon. Like I said already, I am 100% sure going to be raising these prices because I realized that these are too cheap. So premium tier is going to be raised to $29.99. VIP is going up to $59.99 permanently. Uh, in a few days, I will do it. I swear. <laughs> I've done it before. I will do it again. So if you were on the fence about Patreon, I would just, you know, Make the decision sooner rather than later because if you join now, you get permanently grandfathered into these prices forever. Um, today, tomorrow, the next year, the next two years, forever, you will get the prices. So um, I recommend if, you, if, you're, if you're thinking about Patreon, join now before I raise the prices. You get to join my Discord group, my community. You get to uh, check out my, I have more CASPA videos talking about, you know, my price targets to buy in. Uh, I got more price predictions on here, more, more detailed articles and videos on the Patreon. Uh, you can see my portfolio. I'm updating this uh, once a month, once every three weeks. I got some tutorials on Patreon about how to send PIP to ledge or send PIP to Tanjum, uh, talking about cold storage. Got some low cap meme coins you can buy, like, you know, just five bucks each. They're really risky. What else do I got? Got some more videos about the bull run and the macro situation in crypto and Bitcoin. Uh, so yeah, Patreon's pretty cool, man. I got more content on here. Uh, it's a great place to be. Thoughts on Arbitrum? Uh, so Arbitrum, it it uh it has a worse chart than Optimism because like the Optimism chart is actually pumping to higher lows so i like the chart better but arbitrum is fine there's no telling which one is better um arbitrum it's just it's going down right it's getting lower lows so i would not buy it now because i don't know how much it's gonna bleed optimism though um i would certainly get optimism over arbitrum Nine meme coins might be a joke card play meme coin. Yeah, get some nine meme coin. Like it's uh you can make a lot of money on memes. Just throw in very small amounts of money. Do you recommend Tangem for long-term storage for Caspa and BDC or one key? So for BDC, um uh, I actually recommend um the cold card or block stream jade. This is recommended by um Bitcoin University. This is the, the cold card. This is a hardware wallet. It looks like a calculator. And it also looks blurry because yeah, here you see. Yeah. This is the cold card. This is the safest way to store your Bitcoin. This is a Bitcoin specific hardware wallet. It does not support any altcoins. So I'm putting all my Bitcoin on this. This is the safest way to do it. Uh, another good option for uh, a Bitcoin specific wallet is... Blockstream Jade. This is cheaper because cold card costs like 150 bucks. So if you want the cheaper option, go with this one, Blockstream Jade. And then for Caspa, 
I'd recommend splitting it between one key and tangent, like go uh, 50, 50, just in case, like, I'm not, I don't think anything's going to happen, but just in case when it comes to, uh, storing Caspa, split it between the hardware wallets. I have a one key coming in the mail. I haven't got it yet. I haven't tried it, but I heard from Caspa silver that it's pretty legit. So split between 50, 50 tangent and, um, one key. Uh, so for Bitcoin, I would recommend just go all Bitcoin on cold card or Blockstream Jade. So Blockstream Jade is cheaper, uh, but cold card is easier to use because you got bigger buttons. That's the only difference. But they're both cheap and open source code. Uh, the reason I recommend those is because the greatest Bitcoin maxi that I've ever found on YouTube who knows his shit, he recommends those two hardware wallets is cold card and Blockstream Jade. So if you want more information about cold storage on those two, go to this guy. So yeah, Bitcoin all to Blockstream Jade or cold card. And then Tanjum split it between, or sorry, Caspa split it between Tanjum and uh, one key. And then for one key, pick whatever you want. Uh, the one key I have in the mail coming is the one key classic. You can get the, I would recommend the one key classic or the one key light. I think the one key light just sold out. You might not be able to get it. Oh, wait, it's back in stock. Okay. Get the one key light before it sells out again because it keeps selling out. So, yeah, do a one key light or a one key uh, classic. H bar is huge. In what way is that a pump and dump? Yeah, bro. H bar is huge. It's going to go to the moon. <laughs> totally, Astrodala. Totally, H bar is going to pump. We'll ignore the fact that H bar had a. a 80% pre-allocation to the devs and the team who dumped on everyone. What do you mean is a pump and dump? Of course it's a pump and dump. Have you not seen the chart? This is literally the definition of a pump and dump. I don't know how else to explain this. <laughs> yeah, anytime, Red. Glad to help. John Smith says, go all in Caspa. If you don't have potential to become a woulda, coulda, shoulda Caspa, I was going to buy it back in the day, but never did. Well said, sir. Bogey says, ask price prediction for Cas Pip, Dion, and GFL at the end of 2023. Oh, dude, great question. I think Caspa end a year, um, 25 cents. Uh, I think Pip, 50 cents. And then I think uh, GFL probably going to go to, uh, let's see. I think GFL, uh, 5 cents. And then Dion, I think, can go to, I think it can go to one cent. When come the bull run, how to know when to sell because all time highs is once month maximum, but can go up and down more. So Lex, good question. Uh, I think Caspa, Bitcoin and Ethereum are all going to top out in November, 2025. Uh, but I believe the altcoins, the other altcoins will top out earlier because of Coinbase listings. Coinbase listings always pumps cryptos to the moon. So, for example, if GFAL or PIP gets on Coinbase, I would definitely sell a majority of it. And that could be April, May, June, July, August, September of 2025. I don't know when, but these rely on the Coinbase listing because Coinbase pumps cryptos more than anything else. Um, but for the more legit cryptos like Caspa, Bitcoin, Ethereum, I would wait to sell those until November 2025. If I get to afford whale tier one day because of your Patreon, will you open up a spot for me? That's my motivation. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll open up spots eventually, right? It's not going to be sold out forever. Um, it'll just be sold out temporarily, truth. So I'll, I'll, I'll open up the spots for whale again, for sure. Amp. Uh, what is Amp. Yo, man, pump and dump rug. <laughs> you got me. Aren't the safest way to store crypto long term is just remember you seed and don't use any apps. That is the safest way. But what if you get like a concussion or you get dementia and you forget your seed phrase? <laughs> All coins stored on the chain device apps running access. Key. Exactly. Yeah. The, the, the apps and devices, they only provide your private key or your seed phrase to access your crypto. 
Ross Point. I'm now a proud owner of a bunch of GFAL tokens. Woohoo, GFAL to the moon. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's pump it up for GFAL. Um, one of the best micro caps under 10 million at the moment. Stalker says, I went all in XRP, Jasmine, and HBAR. I think I'm all set. What are your thoughts, CG? <laughs> Oh, man, you guys crack me up. Yeah, Stalker, you're going to uh, become the next crypto millionaire. Uh, you will surprise everybody. Everyone thought you were wrong, but you will be right the whole time. You will be the next crypto millionaire. <laughs> Dude, if XRP, Jasmine, and HBAR was actually the crypto to make everyone a millionaire, then we would have uh, a, million, a million millionaires walking around, which is physically impossible because it's the obvious pick and no one makes money on the obvious picks <laughs> jasmine xrp h bar you guys are hilarious man but we, we we found some new uh good picks on the stream today i gotta look into more i'm curious about uh the tensor tau loop network um what else was there those are the only other ones that were decent yeah loop network and Bitense or Tau, I will be considering those to add to this list, and maybe I could demote Tenet or Arion. Maybe. What about CBDC? Are they going to allow us, dude? CBDC is suck, dude. Ross says, I have a bunch of XRP right now. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Good luck. I think on XRP, Ross, in two years, you might make a 3x, a three times return in two years, which is not bad, but there's better out there. <laughs> Alex Becker likes small cap gaming coins. If he mentions GFAL, it's game over. Oh, interesting. Yeah, get in GFAL now before the big channels hear about GFAL. Uh, Alex Becker... Who is this guy? Damn, a million subscribers. Nice. So he does gaming cryptos. All right. This is a huge channel. Man, if he promotes GFAL, holy crap, dude. He gets hundreds of thousands of views per video. That's crazy. <clears throat> what are his picks? <clears throat> Cetify, which is a scam. Uh, <laughs> what else does he have? Altura. Maybe Altura is okay. Wait, this video is super old. Does he do live streams? Nope. You know, I would not be shocked if he gets paid to, to uh, talk about these. What is he picking? Engine? He thinks Engine is going to go to the moon? Ugh. And he actually gets 100,000 people to watch his him promote scams. Dude, no one's going to make money on Engine ever. It's a pump and dump. What else does he promote? Gala? <laughs> oh, my God. He thinks Gala is going to go to the moon? <laughs> God, and people actually look at this guy for financial advice. <laughs> I believe LCX is a sleeping giant. Just become a member of the world forum. I mean, yeah, LCX could pump again. I just, it's, LCX is just kind of old, right? It already went through a bull run, but it could pump again. We'll see. I don't see X and A. He sold a company for a hundred million. Dang. He'll come back. Best swap to get G fell on pancake. You use pancake swap. That's the swap. What do you mean the best swap? Use B and B. Um, I don't know. Your, I don't know your question. I got wrecked on LGBTQ. I'm sure you did. I believe you. 
All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'm getting tired. It's over two hours, so appreciate y'all's support. Thank you for supporting the channel. Get a Tangem Hardware wallet. Uh, so you're, oh, hold on, hold on. We got a super chat. Okay, false alarm. The, the stream will continue for a little bit more. Thank you so much, James Brook, for the five euros. <laughs> you got me just in time. Dude, I was literally about to click end the stream, but then you said, hold on, super chat. Okay. Five euro super chat, and I will check it out. Let's see. You're asking about AKT, a uh, cash network. Oh my God, man. Holy crap. This is the worst chart I have seen all day. Oh, yikes, dude. This is awful, man. Why would I want to look at this chart, dude? This is rugged. This is rugged. Ah, oh, and it already went through the bull run? Dude, this is old. It's rugged. It's an exit scam. Oh my God. I'm sorry, dude. I, I, uh, I don't recommend this one at all. This is the worst chart ever. This is bad, dude. But, um, but thank you for the super chat. I appreciate your support. I'm just, I, I'm not going to buy this crypto though. It's uh, it's an old pump and dump rugged scam. Oh, but you say pumped by crypto banter last week. So yeah, that happens all the time, right? Like it'll pump on the short term. But then it's going to dump again. And crypto banter is really well known for pump and dumping cryptos on the short term. Because what he does is he goes and he buys the crypto. He promotes it. Everyone else buys it. And then he sells and dumps on his audience. It's a, it's a really scammy tactic to do. I don't do that here. The cryptos that I buy here, I always, um, I usually hold them. And if I sell them, I will say so. And I'll give a reason. But crypto banter he's always gonna pump and dump coins on the short term because he's a greedy mofo <laughs> i'm just being realistic and yo richard 369 join the youtube membership <laughs> welcome richard to the youtube membership thanks for joining and you now get the green name and the badge thanks for supporting the channel dude appreciate it to join the youtube membership all you gotta do is click the join button next to the video which is right, uh, right here. Click the join button. Five bucks a month to become, to become the next YouTube member. All right. <laughs> James says, "Thanks for your advice, man. Love the channel. Appreciate your support, too. Glad to help. Glad you were uh, uh, have an open mind to this advice. Anytime, bro. Thanks for being here. All right, James Brook. Thanks again for the super chat, Richard. Welcome to the YouTube membership. I gotta shut down the stream now. I'm getting tired, and it's up on two hours. So everybody, thank you for supporting the channel. Peace out. I'll see you next time."